How's it going, everyone? <sighs> if you don't have the perception to see something in the environment and you mouse over it, do you still find it? Or is it just based on the stat? I hope it's just based on the stat. Is it cheating if I put an auto clicker on the monocoin thingy and take a nap? Um, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Morally, absolutely. But um, if you care about a Yaya, then you're a weeb, so you don't care about morals. Finding a new mod. Thanks, Weeby. Hope it goes well. Speaking of that, let me send out the alert. What if I'm just hoarding mana coins forever so when the AI gets low enough, I can just slam dunk it? That's what I thought some people was going to do, yeah, for sure. I, I've already predicted that's going to happen. someone's supposed to say I can't remember I feel like there's someone supposed to say hmm. oh well anyway so uh, we uh, died yesterday in the game and uh, we had not saved it in a while so let's save it right now uh, so I've already gone through this conversation again I'm going to go through it the conversation a second time now um, I'm going to skip through most of it and try to remember the same things I chose last time um, if I fail at, at recreating it I'm sorry but I'm gonna like like, I read everything out loud on these streams, I, I like, narrate it all, um, not, I don't do any performances or anything, but, um, I'm not gonna do that for this one, we're just gonna get through it, and then we're gonna continue the game, because we died. Let me handle this. Detective disorientated. Are you still wondering where you are? This is Martinez, in case you've forgotten. Uh, I advise you not. So yes, three, right? Extremely normal. So let's that it doesn't matter if you recognize our authority. We will make an arrest if we have to. Why are you so aggressive? So let's go through it. This is where you say your bits. Detective. I think it was we need to take a talk about the hang. Oh, the this hangman, is the right. Oh, he's easy. You might want to start asking your questions now. Scan the room. It's not going to get better than this. But the footprints. Sorry, I know this is boring. We'll get to it in a second. Did you do it? Then they confess. Container belt around the man the round's neck. Um, that's it. We got it. We got the perpetrator. You murdered him like that. No remorse. Honestly, I drink so much. Yeah. 
Um, who called the shots that night? I think we addressed Titus, didn't we? And then we did the big deck one. When did the hang institute occur? Oh shit. Um, why did you kill him? So he was a mercenary, that's it. And we keep going. And there's gonna be like an intimidation thing that we do soon, right? Um, how do you know he was in special forces? Cause he just said so, which is kind of weird. Uh, what did he, besides crimes against karaoke, what did he actually do wrong? Um, bum, 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 bum. Same girl sexually saw raped, you said. Um, who did the guy rape? How did you kill him? How did you overpower him? He's a trained killer. Where did this overpowering happen? All right, so then we had a 42% chance. We, we failed this last time, and we're just gonna go through it, and we're probably gonna fail it again. Fuck. Titus, solid as a rock, but so are a few others, but first tell me who's solid, who's cracking under the pressure. All right, first tell me who's solid. Elaine, who looks like he might be Titus's right hand man the least antsy of the bunch definitely not his first time being questioned by the police this little rat faced fellow solid too always fidgety yes but no change there him neither mostly keeps to his tomato juice or whatever he's got there who's cracking under the pressure this one he's sweating profusely and has difficulty breathing they've smartly kept him out of the conversation thus far definitely the weakest link in the chain hey you turn to the big guy you having trouble breathing over there this one you're not telling me right i have other questions about the lynching all right so will four lead to talking to this person or um uh let's go three no he looks up startled his forehead shiny from sweat a few coiled locks are peeking out from under his warm woolen hat of course he's having trouble breathing uh just look at how fucking fat he is the man next to the big guy bursts out laughing fuck off shanky the big boss steps in angus is a powerful guy all muscle keep your eye on this powerful guy sooner or later he's gonna break like a piece of twig a piece of twig a piece of twig not a twig a piece of twig this one you're not telling me and fuck you too copper picking on angus like this we've done we're done with the schoolyard shit just so you know he doesn't have trouble breathing he's his all muscle comment wasn't sarcastic he's generally trying to look out for angus this one is a stone wall you won't get more out of them about the night of the murder not yet right i have other questions about the lynching um all right so why don't i just arrest you this is what we did last time and it led to us dying um i'd rather not cheese that that again because i don't want to um because if I succeed that, I'm going to want to reload. Like, winning winning a 42% again, all right, whatever. That wasn't all that big of a deal. But winning, like, a 3%, like, no. Um, so let's just let's just conclude the questioning. Nothing. Her reply comes sharp. Your investigation here is done. Leave Martinez. Go back to your stations where you belong. I think we're going to stick around. Thanks. Some things don't add up here, Titus. The lieutenant closes his notebook. I've done this job for long enough to know that people don't just confess to first-degree murder. Even if it is a group responsibility, we're going to look into this. Good luck with that. He grabs another beer. You've heard everything. A rent the cop's going to hear from us. Okay. Here. Oh, here's the challenge. Shit. I could have went the other one anyway. Anyone anyway. All right. So we're not doing that. It's 8%. We're not doing that. We're not going to save scum that. All right, so there we go. So we're done. Okay, so um, let's recap. So uh, we just we just um, just interrogated these guys holding a trash bag full of full of tart. Um, so that's fun. Um, so I'm really surprised that we've learned what happened to the corpse this early. All right, are we gonna have a conversation with Kim when we go outside? Let's see what's gonna happen. I'm gonna guess yes. I'm gonna guess Kim's gonna want to talk about this. Do 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 really. Yes. I kind of want to do this just for fun, but no, Kim's best boy. I don't want to. I don't want to exhaust every single dialogue thing. All right, so I'm really surprised. I thought there was something about when we did the investigation that um, he wasn't dead when he was hung. He was already dead as they were dragging him here. But maybe I'm misremembering that. This is the problem with with trying to do this. Um, um, over so many streams in different weeks. Um, so anyway, I'm really surprised that, they've, they, that we already know who did it. It means that well, that's setting off my like red herring detector that I don't think that um, it is going to be um, that straightforward, but I guess we'll see. So far, Joe has basically only redone the conversation from yesterday. Since back then, he died and lost progress. Yep, that's it. So now now we're back to starting for real. Um, it's raining, apparently. Um, I think there was something like in... Uh, wait, can we inspect this? 
interact, photo tattoos, hand note from the fridge, hand note from the fridge. Okay, put the note away. All right, I want to, I want to, um, I want to interact with our ledger. Browse the case files again. Okay, so there was a bunch of ones that we that we went through that we, we were supposed to just like maybe do these once a day and then we'll go through it. All right, so, um, oh, someone farted. Okay, one second. Oh, these are great, Q2. Have we had a have we had a new one for every stream so far? Holy shit. Okay, in case you didn't see it, this 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 is uh Serene, best boy. Serene. With the tie becoming more uh, animated. Look at the colors there. It's so good. Thank you, Q2. I, I will. I will replace uh, the Yusuke in the bottom uh, left with this with the the new Suke. Get it? Get it? That's like a that's a that's a three level pun there. The new ske? Damn, that's a three level pun. Thank you, Q2. <laughs> Speaking of puns, the dad joke calendar for Wednesday. What do you call a depressed traffic jam? Bummer to bummer traffic. Fucking hell. That's a depressed tra traffic jam, all right. I'm depressed after that. Uh, anyone redeem any mana coins? Um, no. Damn. I guess the weebs just just don't want a yaya. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> um. Thank you to the following people. If I can find where we left off. I think Messio and Chiefin and Freshblood7 for subscribing while the stream is down. Thank you very much. And since we started, ship go sync for the 8 month resub. Hey, hey, Joe. 8 months in Pell Patrol with a message like that. Thank you, Matiuo, Matiuo for the 2 month resub with Ayaya. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, thank you, Reese Polar, for the three month resub. Thank you very much. Thank you, Zorgrox, the hundred bits. Joe, I am but mere flesh. <laughs> At what point did we say that? I can't remember. Was it when we got the gun yesterday? Thank you, Sirs Plexius, for gifting a sub to Merrick. I think I think I I'm, I I should like, I, I wanted to give Merrick one of the permanent subs, didn't I? Sorry, I f I completely forgot about that. I'll see if I can do that after stream. I'm. Juggling, juggling a lot right now, guys. Sorry, I know I'm all over the place, but there's a lot going on at the moment, <laughs> just to put it lightly. <laughs> but I'm trying. Sorry. Oh shit. Uh, thank you, Surplexiest, and uh, sorry for mispronouncing your name all the time. Uh, thank you, Lended95, for the three on three sub. Since you are my favorite content creator, and I'm also a weeb, do I have shit taste or not? Oh no. Um. Yes. It's she Sheffin. Sorry. Did I say Chiefin? Sorry, Sheffin. Thank you, Sheffin. Thank you, Tady, or some say Taddy, for the 4 and 3 sub. More Lurker sub shout out to the Lurkers and the VOD boys and girls. Getting my name butchered is part of my identity, says Certs. Ply X I U S. Supreme Cool for the 2313 something very much. I don't know what to say, but wow, that's a big number. It really is a big number. I'm still not used to there, there being any in the 20s. I don't mind 23. What's the highest? Is it 26? It's just, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand where the time went. 
I still remember streaming near Automata and it being a, a big novelty. It's weird. Um, thank you, Devoid of Skill, for the Farm 3 sub. I'm at school, but I need mana coins for the Ayaya. Do you, though? I don't know. I'm, I'm not feeling the heart in it, weebs. I don't know. You're professional, weebs, but your heart's not in it. I don't know. That's how I'm feeling right now. Uh, Toxel has resubscribed for 12 months. Welcome to the One Year Club, Toxel. Is this what is known as the Deep Weeb? <laughs> the Deep Weeb. Uh, they were talking on on Discord today, and they were comparing how many how many um, how much anime they've each watched. And like, god damn, like a lot of people who watch anime are committed to watching a lot of anime. Like, I think there's there are people there that have watched more anime than I've played games, and playing games is my biggest hobby. So I'm like, damn, like, and a lot of anime goes on for quite a while too, right? I think there's someone that that had watched over 400 animes. I didn't even know there were 400 animes. Like, seriously, I really didn't know there were that many. Like, holy crap. So many animes. Anime can be crunched. So, yeah, you could probably have two going on the same... On, on like, each monitor, right? Only 400? Is that not... Is that not a lot? Uh, thank you, Shiver Bru... Shiver Bru... <laughs> I can never say your name. For the time of three sub with a heart. Thank you, S. Sweeb. Sweeb, there you go. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ununoctium, for the 100 bits. Just making sure you try to say my name again. I think I get it, right? That is that is right. Ununoctium, right? That's that's correct. That's got to be. That's got to be it. A new Noctium? A new? A woo? Thank you, Ingvar Fed, for the 24 month resub with fun times. Welcome to the two year club, Ingvar Fed. Hope you like the two year chat icon. Thank you so much. Was it fun times? I hope so. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Plain and Pale, for the 4 3 sub. Hey, hey, JPH Pout, 4 and Pout Patrol. Thank you very much, Plain and Pale and Pouting. And last but not least, Sylvanas Gray with, for the 8 month 3 sub. I think Sylvanas also belongs in Pout Patrol. Thank you very much. Or Scowl? Scowl Squad? I don't know. I'm not sure. Anyway, let's go. Let's read this. The Unsolvable Case. Takes about half an hour to piece one together. All right, let's go with this. AKA Leslie and Burke, AKA the public indecency drunk and the property damage drunk is a cursed case. It has been passed from unsuspecting officer to unsuspecting officer for 10 years. On January 29th, the unsolvable case made its way to you. Why you accepted it is unclear. Every officer and indeed most civilians in Jamrock know it's unsolvable. Leslie will always take his pants off when he's drunk. Burke will always trash everything. It's just what they do. It, it, it is their nature. Like the frog and the scorpion, you cannot change the nature of a man, well, and you can't lock them away because public indecency and small-scale property damage are not punishable by incarceration. The only way for Leslie to stop flashing his genitals to bypassers and for Burke to stop dismantling sign... Sinage? Shouldn't that be signage? What's sinage? Maybe that's a mistake and rear view mirrors would be for them to stop drinking alcohol That's not gonna happen which in their 40s and or 50s It is hard to tell because of this their distorted features is a medical improbability on par with you ceasing to produce the expression on oh, nice callback Couldn't we just keep them off the streets? You would think that but you're wrong Where's the fun in exposing your genitals or breaking stuff in your own home? No, Leslie and Burke are on the corner of Main Street and Perdition Because that's where the action is Can you keep yourself off the streets? Proceed. Threatening, fines, dragging them to the station, locking them up in the hell holes they live in, locking them up in the station, hypnotherapy, even trying to get a local gang of Zemliakis, Zemliakis to take them out. The Zemliakis gave them ethanol so Burke and Leslie would expose and rampage even harder. You tried it all, and still the complaints wouldn't stop, as they hadn't stopped for 10 years. It's plain to see from the files that you, Satellite Officer JV and Special Consultant TH, had more important cases to attend to. You uncover cross-reference to several ongoing investigations, each brought to a standstill every time you drive down Main Street. Because there they are, on the corner of Perdition, and what is Leslie doing? Property damage, public indecency. Good, you're learning. If the files are to be trusted, that's all there is to it. That and Burke breaking things, and the fact that they're both drunk, but then again, so are you. The case becomes considerably less comic one day when Burke takes a swing at your ledger. 
He must have had it confused with the property he likes to damage, but the joke's on him. The officer is also drunk, way more drunk than Burke there, and let's be fair, you also have party eyes. You slam the hardened plastic board in his face, then proceed to beat him unconscious with it. In the process, the ledger sustains damage. The compartment within, reserved for permeable documents, is jammed shut. You stop your assault on the now unconscious Burke to open it, but are unable to do so. The officer began to cry, reports Leslie, who at this point is tending the Burke. He came at us and... He came at us and at us. I think what? And I think he was trying to kill Burko. While trying to kill Burko, you slowly come round. The permeables compartment is open. You smashed it open on poor Burko's kneecaps. The good news is Burke can't walk anymore. Can't get out of his apartment. An invalid. With Burke to tend to, Leslie cuts back on the indecent exposure. Maybe he flashes his genitals to Burke. Who knows? But both drunks are off the street. The complaint stopped. The unsol unsolvable case is solved. Which is why. Which is also why the officer responsible narrowly escapes a disciplinary hearing. The end. Do you want to read another one? Oh, that wasn't too long. All right. So the square bullet hole murder murders. These sound fun. Let's let's do one of these at the beginning of every day. Um, or if we finish way sooner than I think, then we'll do another one. All right. So let's do that one. Mostly and really, but I just love how the Disco Elysium has turned into an absolute goldmine of memes and fan arts. You should check it out once you finish with the game. Has it? Oh, that's cool. Okay, so I was expecting to have some sort of interaction with uh, Kim after that conversation in there. Maybe we should go back in and look around a little bit and maybe something will start. Um, how do we get up here? Uh, we also need to level up our save your fare in order to try to get our coat again. Uh, but we need a lot of XP to do that. Thank you, Squirrel of Terror, Squirtel of Terror, for the new sub prime. Welcome to Prime Time. Welcome to the pickle jar. Thank you very much. Keep on being squirrely. I find it hard to say the word squirrel. In Britain, they say squirrel. They don't say squirrel, like whirl, but with an S. They say squirrel, and I think squirrel sounds better than squirrel, but I have trouble saying it. He looks at you, then looks away, quickly shrugging, muttering something to himself. Shrugging is an international sign for no. All right. Okay, so we can't get through this door, right? The only thing that makes me stop playing Persona is your streams. Aw, oh, thank you, Assistant Weeby. I hope you're enjoying the game. I'm looking forward to playing it again. Do 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 What's your exercise routine like to combat sitting down for long stretches of time? Um, a fair amount of stretches, but rowing machine, uh, exercise bike, and a lot of body weight stuff, but I haven't been doing it for the past uh, couple weeks before Christmas, maybe even a little longer than that because I've just been working so hard. I just want to get the video done. It's kind of like trying to expel a sickness. I, I want so badly to get it done that I'm just prioritizing it over everything else, which isn't a good idea, but yeah. Maybe Sea Monster, this is the plaza. I'm not not very, I'm probably not doing the, the best stretches, but you know, I do something. I figure it's better than nothing. You're the angel. Have you no shame? Oh God. Okay. Whining about your back every time you bring out the measuring tape. Rene, you're a man with a fork in a world of soup, please. <laughs> Let's just try to enjoy the game, all right? <laughs> ah, that is a great line. The other one's eating a big sandwich. I am trying to, but you keep breaking my concentration. You're old. I can see that. We're both old. Now, stop grabbing your ass like it's a girl. These manly men are playing balls. This is a ball game. Grab a ball and play it. Don't ask questions. Shoot first. Ask questions. Never. Shouldn't I ask what game it is first? All right, I got this. Ball time. That's the spirit. Don't even waste your breath asking about the game. They wouldn't know anyway. They're way past their prime. Better observe them first. Hand-eye coordination. Medium. Grab the ball and show them how it's done. A moment of your time, fellows. Don't get involved in the game. No, fuck that. We're playing the game.
Is this what we use the shot put ball for? You are immediately surprised by the ball's lack of weight. No matter, you'll make it work. Feel the ball. The cold metal ball is surprisingly smooth against your neck. It has a pattern on it, probably a sponsored ball. Yours would only be covered with bumps of learning and scars of victory. Already your muscles are adjusting to the weight, the nervous system calibrating, until you and the ball have merged into a single entity. The man ball is ready, and you have become the shot put ball killer. Look out, Danganronpa. Take, it in, take in the surroundings. A chilly breeze ruffles your hair as you stand there, feet firmly planted. All sound smells, even the wind. Everything fades until the only thing left is a union of man and ball. And once again, we are the killer. There is time for a last glance inward. Who am I? An embodiment of pure motion, a fine-tuned locomotor running at maximum efficiency. The inertia can be contained no more than a bullet leaving a gun. Let go. Be the bullet. Murdi, the old sailor soldier, sorry, not sailor, yells in outrage. Bordel de Murdi. All right, sorry, I don't, I don't speak Spanish. A uh, horse house of shit. Oh, we do speak Spanish. All right, it wasn't whorehouse of shit. Oh, we don't. That shot, the shot was at least twenty-three meters, probably twenty-four, and then some. Nothing to be embarrassed about. What the hell is your problem? Not a. Not a weak right triceps, that's for sure. Problem? I don't understand. Problem? Problem? I'm sorry. Sorry. I know it's Italian. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You vandalized our game, son. He tries to calm himself. We can't play Petanique. Petanique? Mario? We can't play Mario with five bowls. Sorry. An honest mistake. Are we good? P-Tank? <laughs> oh, P-Tank. I understand. p -tank. Yes, patong, the man says, raising his voice again. You ruined our patong game. We want our bowl back. Take it easy, Rene. The jolly one tries to defuse the situation. This is just a misunderstanding, isn't it, officer? No harm done. Why didn't they tell, tell me to stop while I was doing my fucking preparation crane dance? Of course there's harm done, you orange slug. The heel of, the, of his cavalry boot slams in the ground. You owe us a god... Owe us a, a goddamn bowl. How many how many uh, mistakes are we up to now? Like Like... 12? I don't mind. I really, really honestly don't mind. When there's this much text and there's this much options, I really don't mind. I'm more than willing to live with it. But I do hope they clean it up. I hope they go in and, and they um they uh they fix it. Maybe it's not maybe it's not a mistake. Maybe it's like you owe us a a goddamn bowl. You know what I mean? Like maybe it's part but I feel like if like how, how do you communicate that properly in text? Do you need like a hyphen or do you need like some some ellipses or something? Like I don't know. I don't have a ball, but will this do? Hold up the shop put ball. Listen, guys, the ball is gone, and I have a murder to solve, all right? Refuse task. All right, let's go with that one. Will this... He falls silent and stares at the ball. No, it will goddamn not. Thank you, officer. The jolly man quickly takes the ball and bounces in his hand. This is really something. Honestly, I think it's even better than our old bull, even. Damn, five experience for the ball? We could sell that for a lot of real. Mon Dieu, he mumbles, rubbing his temples. All right, all right, fine. What do you want? Oh, it's Polish. I'm sorry. These guys must have read The Witcher. Yes. Why did you come here? It's unlikely to know anything about the murder. The murder. You never know. He might know something. This is a good vantage point. Just talk. It'll smooth things over. Old people like attention. Do you know anything about the man hanged in the backyard of Whirling in Rags? You seem to be playing in a crater. I saw the statue of Philippe III near the roundaboot. Wait, is that a... Unfortunately, I don't, he shrugs. Unlike most of the locals, I have no qualms about assisting law enforcement, but this affair has passed me by completely, and most of the locals in Martinet is the union of the is the law, so can you really blame them? But you don't have a problem with cops. Cop is a... Oh, God. Pejorative? Pe <laughs> Pejorative. Pejorative term. Fucking hell, I've never had to say that loud before. Oh no, I want to say prerogative. I want to say prerogative. I've never had to say that word out loud before, sorry. I don't have a problem with policemen. On the contrary, I admire the effort to bring order to our streets. 
He doesn't know about the crime. Your time is better spent discussing politics. What about police women? So again, you don't anything? Yeah, what about police women? I'm confident they are indispensable in regard to all the paperwork and other administrative duties. Oh man, low-key sexist. All right. There are no duties RCM women can carry out. You better not be implying that women are unfit for field work. I try to avoid voicing opinions on controversial matters. Let's just drop it. Uh... Um, I think Yusuke Artkoff would be offended. Um, would he would he go for the throat or would he just say, I think he'd go number one. But you must agree that nature, in her infinite wisdom, has made men more fit to perform certain more challenging tasks, don't you, officer? No, I don't think there's any evolutionary inequality at play here. Yes, I guess that's true. Um... Mm -hmm. Uh, what would he do? I'm going to go with number one. Really, officer? He smirks. Match an average woman against an average man in a dark alley and see who comes out on top. Hopefully the woman. Gender equality is a very noble, very modern idea, but in real life, primal roles prevail. But I do not wish to discuss this, this matter further. You seem to be playing in a crater. Oh, that just went nowhere. Okay. Yes, the man nods. The terrain here provides an interesting variety to a familiar game. Was it made by a sea monster rising from the depths? Was there an earthquake here? Does it have anything to do with all the bullet holes I've been seeing around? Do you know what created it? I do, he nods, straightening his back. Fire from heavy, heavy artillery. Okay, it's a crater left by artillery fire. But why? Why what? Why was heavy artillery used? Why is it cage and wall? Because that's what happens when you... When you Calm you nards, hijack your country, execute your supreme leadership, and turn your capital into a slaughter hoose. You use heavy ordnance to clean up your home. Wait, who are the communards again? Did you use artillery fire against them? Maybe we can do this history le lesson later. Let's go number two. Sadly, no. It was the foreigners who brought them to their knees. We fought valiantly, too valiantly. So valiantly, we got licked, he adds, squeezing a bull in his fist. Should have fought dirty like they did with their suicide sex cult propaganda and mad anarchist women strapped to shrapnel bombs. We didn't though. We and we lacked calibre. God bless him. But the Sue's Reigns cannons simply weren't big enough. It was probably a bit more complicated than that. Yeah, probably. Why shell them here in Martinez? Because this place is the damned beachhead, he says, pointing to the bay. Had to soften the commies up first, the beachhead? Yes, he nods, inspecting you with some disdain. The military coordinated amphibious landing to take back Rivashal. He finds your lack of historic knowledge troubling, a sign of mental deterioration in the preceding generations. The Tiroration? Martinez was used as one of the three footholds in Rivashal during Operation Deathblow in 08. The other two are off in Stella, Mar Stella Maris? 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 Maris, I think. And the Delta, he points to northeast. Deathblow sounds grim. Nod thoughtfully and turn to look northeast. Shake your head and look down at the crater. Nod thoughtfully. This here is blood ground, where Coalition Boots first made landfall and cleaned those rabid dogs out. Most likely, he says, looking down at the soil, we're playing P-Tank on their mangled corpses. Blood ground, the other one shakes his head. You got old Rene going there like he isn't angry enough already. Hold on, the Coalition? Is that why everything is so bombed out? Ah, uh, that explains all the war damage. Hold on, the Coalition. Mm-hmm, he grunts. Don't get me wrong, officer, I hate those foreign dogs, but the enemy of my enemy and all that, they're the lesser evil. Oh man, don't bring the lesser evil up in front of the ass eaters. Is that why everything is so bombed out? How many, how many, like, ironic references are we on now, chat? Oh, that explains all the war damage. Um, let's go number one. Damn right, son, they laid the fire of hell on this city before they stormed it, and it worked too. There is, there is a strange gleam in his eyes. The rest of the city got cleaned up, but Martinez, they keep as a monument, a dark shadow runs across his face. Anime moment, and now the Union, so the Union socialists are practically running the place. Well, it's your own damn fault, the Jolly Man re remar Jolly Man marks, not remarks, marks. You, we, the Coalition, Rivashal, Yusuke, whoever you want to blame, never finished the job. Officially, the party never surrendered. Of course, they still hold influence. You don't even begin to truly understand the players on the table, let alone the specific circumstances surrounding the... He stops mid-sentence and turns to you. What do you think? 
thinking men have opinions on these things. Present one. Oh man, I don't like opinions. That's why I just, I like to be objective. That's how it should be. Soft socialists paving the way for the hard working class to take over. The fuck is a soft socialist? For Am I a soft socialist? Maybe I'm a soft socialist. Foreign powers cleaned up our mess and now they rule us. Shake your head in shame. This coalition seems quite capable, actually. The commies just don't understand how money works. <laughs> doing that one no they don't i'm sorry it had to be the coalition after eight years of fighting rabid commies boiling cats for food and drinking piss in the mountains he takes a deep breath i would have preferred if the right honorable king guillaume returned to rivashal or even if that damn clown frizzle miss frizzle had risen from the grave and led us sally that was not the case how's it going lily bell it's going chat's making fun of me because i don't know how to speak polish Neither do I. This royal failure weighs heavily on him. How's it going downstairs? Okay. Get to sleep. The boys are fine. You want to give out some claw fists while you're here? I could. Uh, we need a claw fist for Pink Hair 3D for the 16 month resub. Claw fist. We need a claw fist for a A's. As a band, the bandit for a two month resub with I, uh, yeah, more disco JPH Yusuke. Clawfist. We also need a clawfist from Moxus for four months. I'll just take this chance to remind everyone that Kim is best waifu. Thanks. Clawfist. I gesture toward her every single time, by the way, so you get the full effect. Twisted Tootsie has resubscribed for 18 months. Thank you, Twisted Tootsie. Clawfist. Thank you, Katsurugi from the future for the 11 month resub. Hey, Mr. Dragon, would you consider doing something like doing. Consider doing something like doing a five minute video about the game you stream so people could catch up on your opinion and won't ask again about it. Wishing you the best in New Year. Clawfist. What do you mean, like a five minute video on the stream? Like, five minute video on like the second channel, maybe? I thought about doing that, but I just don't have the time. But I think that would be pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I just don't know if I have, if I, if I had the time, definitely. We'll see how it goes in the future. Thank you, Certs Ply X. I U S T T T for the hundred bits. How you how you pronounce Guillaume, but not <laughs> No, don't make me say it again. How do you say this word, Lily? Pejorative? Pejorative. Isn't that I don't how know. isn't I don't that know. how I said it? I've never had to say I it. I read it I read it as prerogative first and then I wanted to say that and then that slipped me up. I can say I can pronounce Guillaume because chat taught me. <laughs> I've always wondered how to say that actually. It's one of those names you see, but you never know how to say. Pejorative, right? Like the Britney Spears song, Everyone no, About no, Me. No, no. That's my pejorative, right? No. No? Okay. It's prerogative. Anyway, clawfist. Clawfist. Lots of clawfists. Thank you for all the clawfists. No problem. Good luck with your reading. Alright. Fistulator alligator. Instead, all that is just holy and beautiful in the world was wiped. Wait, hold on. Instead, all that is just holy and beautiful in the world is wiped away, and now it's neon signs with toothpaste ads everywhere. Foreign influence peddling garbage and stupid music on the radio. He sighs. This is just what the commies wanted. Yeah, toothpaste commercials. This was their plan all along. White teeth. This is what they wanted to replace the rule of suzerain with. Suzerain? 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 No horny on man. You could fist without being horny. What are you talking about? How does Philippe the Third factor into this? Point toward the monument. Who was this frizzle? You mentioned Guillaume. Hmm. What exactly is a suzerain? I don't know. He doesn't. The veteran replies sharply. This what, that was 100 years ago. Ain't got nothing to do with anything. Who was this frizzle? Damn frizzle. He was the king we couldn't protect. The carabineers failed him and the crown. The old veteran falls silent and massages his chest. He died in the hands of the hoi polloi. In a very public execution. I feel like... I feel like... At least 40%, maybe even more. 40% of this game is just going right over my head. And maybe that's what it's supposed to be, but I don't know. Like... It, you're supposed to be confused along with the main guy? Like, like I'm like, okay, I'm not even... I'm interested. That, that's a good thing. Like, I'm still interested even though it's mostly going over my head. But it's just like... 
What the fuck? Um, you mentioned Guillaume. A true king in both blood and mind led Rivashal before Frizzle. He would have been better, but the damn commies drove him in exile. Fucking commies. Some manner of self self deceit is present is present in his thinking. Sounds like this Guillaume abandoned him and he doesn't want to admit it. Hmm, what exactly is a Sozrain? The Sozrain is the king. Has everyone forgotten already? He then slowly nods and says to himself, They've forgotten already. Soon they will forget everything, him too. Then he chooses anger over melancholy. Ooh, we got XP. It's no use talking to you. You were still in daddy's balls when it happened. When we took our last stand against the filth and rode the cavalry straight into gunfire. Alright, um... Wait, we get minus one because we threw the the ball into the sea, but we gave them a new one. Is there anything you can tell me about this rifle? Hold out the antique firearm. It's a Bel Belmar Magrave, he says, taking the rifle. 4.46 caliber, breech loading, Rivashal made, good weapon, accurate and reliable. This one's inoperable. The bolt spring is missing and the mechanism is jammed shut. Still a beauty, he adds, handing the rifle back. Where did you find her? In the basement there. Sorry, I can't divulge that information. What do you mean, fine? This is my rifle. I always have it with me in the basement there. Yusuke rarely lies. I'm not surprised he looks at the building. There are probably lots of forgotten wartime weapons lying around here. Back in the day, everyone had something stashed away. I saw a statue of Philippe III in the roundabout. I asked King Philippe III on his steed, a reminder of what Rivashal once was. Oh, absolutely. He smiles as if rel reliving a pleasant memory. At the mercy of a cocaine snorting tyrant who emptied the treasury so he could sleep on a bed of gold. A superpower feared and respected, a testament to what this country can be under the leadership of a true king, someone who knows how to rule. Speaking of sipping, um, what what is the game like? We're very very close to starting stream streams back up like full time. What is the game people are most excited of? Vampire the Masquerade, David Cage, Ace Attorney, AI Seminium Files. Um, what was the other one? Yakuza Zero. Which of those games are you most excited about? Let's pull it. I want to pull it. Those were the five promised ones, right? Let's pull it. Pull new. Uh, which full-time stream game are you the most excited about? Uh, Ace Attorney Trilogy. Trilogy. Uh, Vampire the Mask Her Maid. The Mask You Maid. Um, what were the other ones? Yakuza, Yazuka, Yazuka Zero, um, David Cage, Marathon. Um, those were the only ones that were promised, right? Like, out, I want to play Outer Wilds, I want to play uh, Deltarune, I want to play AI Seminium Files, but these these were the only ones that were promised, right? Like, we had promised ones, and these are the ones that we're going to do first. So, Ace of Training Trilogy, Vampire the, Mas the Masquerade, Yakuza Zero, and David Cage Marathon, right? Th that's That was it, right? Zelda Zero Escape is not promised. I haven't even 100% that we're going to do Zero Escape. All right, I think this was it. It was these four. Promise it, promise Persona. Like, I don't need to promise it. I want to play it. We'll get to it eventually. But these were voted by you guys. Uh, AI, AI wasn't promised. Yeah, I wasn't promised. Oh, this is pretty pretty even. Zero escape before AI one hundred percent. Do you think so? You guys can decide that ahead of time. When we're ready to when we're ready to play AI, if you guys want me to play zero escape first, we'll play zero escape first. If we're gonna play zero escape, I don't know. Haven't decided yet. I don't know if I want to subject myself to that. I don't know if I want to have everyone being mean to me for, for 25 hours. If I wanted to do that, I would reconnect with my family. Yakuza 0 is winning. Narrowly. Hmm, interesting. Alright, cool.
cool, cool, cool. So in case you, you don't know the rest of them, um, yeah, so we promised Yakuza 0, David Cage Marathon, Ace Attorney Trilogy, that's on Steam or whatever, Vampire the Masquerade, Bloodlines, and uh, then we're also going to be playing Persona 3, 4, and Into Royal sometime this year. Um, Zero Skate maybe into AI Seminium Files, and um, uh, Outer Wilds, everyone will play myself, and uh, maybe Deltarune, probably Deltarune. I don't see why we wouldn't play Deltarune at some point. And um, was there anything else? Dang around with two puzzles harder than the whole Zero Escape trilogy, do you think so? Vampire the Masquerade Belt Lines will be the stupidest fun time to watch those. Really? really? I'm that's the one on the four that I'm looking forward to the least. I don't I don't think I'm gonna enjoy that game. Maybe I will. But um like it look I I'm I'm looking for okay, let me rephrase it. I'm looking forward to having played it and to be say, yeah, I've played that game now. But um of those four, it's like eh, I don't know. I feel like I'm not gonna enjoy that one. But maybe I will. You'll go crazy and I'll enjoy it. Really? Okay, cool. Wait, by Ch a Ace of Change Trilogy, do you mean you'll play them all directly one after the other? I will play whatever whatever the hell is on Steam. Like, uh, maybe if, if, if there are three separate games and they're all pretty long, maybe we'll split them up between the other ones. Um, but, but yeah, we're going to play them. A superpower feared and respected, a testament to what the country can be under the leadership of a true king, someone who knows how to rule. How should a true king rule? What was... What was that about cocaine? <laughs> so something else. How could a true, true king rule? You're probably Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines for Halloween. You're you're very late. Also, it is a very well written game. Just behind the school on this. Oh yeah, we're we're super late. Um, also, like we stopped streaming for a while because um, because uh, Lily was pregnant. Remember that? Um. And we shouldn't even be streaming now. We've been streaming for months on this on the skeleton schedule, but we really shouldn't be doing it. But um, hey, finances, <laughs> right? Uh, how should Shu King rule decisively without fear of offending the sensibilities of the frail and weak-minded uh, among his subjects? Uh, this is something the insurgents never understood. Uh, it seems to to me a leader should take care of his people before himself. Powerful leaders not afraid to do what must be done. That's what this country needs. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Um, indecisive, Yusuke. You haven't lived as long as I have, son. With age, a man learns certain things about real power or else ends up a spineless socialist rat like Gaston, Gaston here. And the worst part of that officer, he says, face terrified, is having to spend your days playing P-Tank with an angry snake. The carabineer doesn't reply, but his entire being communicates unbreakable resolve. Damn. Two old people that are friends but hate each other. Is there a better trope than that? What was that about cocaine? Oh, we got JMS2. It's done. Rivashal, Special Administrative Region. La Calio. The Insulindian fucking ocean. Coalition government... Insulidian Mission Command, name after name, and none of them is familiar. They seem real, but something is wrong. You feel like a kid looking at stickers on the fridge. Truvant, the Apricot Company, World Games 34. You can almost see your hand reaching out for them. Scratch at the corners, see if they peel loose. This feels like the most important of all the thoughts, the one you truly must complete. Nice. All right. Um, how do we do it? Oh, can we can we not do it while we're in in the conversation? Okay. Oh, Old Philippe was a big fan of the purple nose candy that the nobility loves so much. A cocaine connoisseur of sorts. He chuckles. His egocentricity is borderline legendary. You can't even take responsibility for yourself. How could you fathom the responsibility weighing on the shoulders of a ruler? He asks, obviously annoyed. That's why the Philippian kings use cocaine for clarity of vision to aid in their work. Regnum cocaineum, Rivashal's finest years. Is that what? Is that like when Harry Potter wants to summon some cocaine? So some cocaine, he does that. That's the spell. He seems to grow taller, brimming with pride about the past. Of course, Lieutenant Mark Striley, clarity of vision, awareness. Oh yeah, Kim, you're here. Philippe the Third was even brought into this world with the help of cocaine. The court medic administered a dose to his mother when she was in labor. It is well known that the, that with the help of cocaine, only the purest, of course, he was able to connect with higher realms. Higher realms, of course, it all makes sense. He's just making excuses for the king's habits, isn't he? 
What was that about Higher Realms? Sounds interesting. Such responsibility requires a boost every now and then. I sometimes need one too. Seems like irresponsible behavior for a monarch. Drug users shouldn't even operate heavy machinery, much less rural countries. It's really not. He turns to Rene. Please do spare us the cocaine fairy tales. Nice. Yes, indeed. We are not here to investigate the drug trade of centuries past. Let's talk about something else. All right. Do we take the 3%? This is a white, white, white check. You maybe try it. Wait, do, can we can we level up any of our composure with with our um with our items? Composure plus one. Oh man, we have plus one composure. Wait, is it is this like net or? Yeah, it just you just you just look at it and it just tells you. Okay, so our composure is like super low, super low composure. I mean, we have three. Hmm. Um, so let's save it just in case we die. It won't let me. These are gorgeous, by the way. JMAS Vu, the opposite of Deja Vu. I get this all the time. Not already seen, but never seen. Everything that should be familiar appears strange and new, like some half forgotten day in your childhood, only now. That's the feeling you've been having, and for who knows how long. You should go and ask Joyce Messier about this. What world are we in? This is the fundamental question. What if I hadn't met Joyce? Oh no, we got this from talking to her, right? Okay. Um, those look like, like ear faces. Eerie. Minus one encyclopedia, nothing is familiar. Plus one XP for every orb clicked. Um, all int learning caps raised by one. All right, is that retroactive? Because if not, I'm gonna be mad. It's not great. All right. He's gonna take you back to the past. All right, well, I guess we got this somewhat early, right? Wow, you work hard. I do. Oh yes, you hustle. You're a provider. It's tough out there, but you keep it real and provide. I guess I do, yeah. Oh yeah, like a horse, a workhorse for hard work. What hard work do I do exactly? Look at yourself, you're a human pedometer. You must have walked 200,000 steps down cracked asphalt, mosaic, sand, and linoleum after you re-emerged. That is a sign of a hustler who never gives up. The world is harsh and people are evil. You didn't make it that way and you won't let it break you. You ride. Yeah, I ride a little. I fucking ride till I die, bitch. I'm not sure I ride. Yeah, I ride a little, a little. You make money. You got gills, baby. You got those black papers with the faces of the innocents on them. You bring in the Franco Negroes and the Solas. Solas? Solas? It ain't easy, but you do it. Day in and day out. You didn't make the rules and you won't lose. You're a cop and a sprinter and a money printer. Oh, that's a good line. Oh, and then there's pawning stuff off to that suspicious Roy guy. <laughs> I guess I've made some gills, sure. Yeah, you're in the sales business. Shake them for shit and then pawn it off, law officer style. I guess I've got some gills, sure. Sure, sure. But has it been easy? Is life easy? Have you not gone into cardiac arrest? Are you not about to have an anxiety attack or shoot yourself in the mouth? Well... I mean, only once, but you still hustle 24-7, ride or die. Now ask yourself, are you rich? Yes, quite. No, I'm actually not. That's right. You work harder than anyone, and you almost rode yourself to the grave, and you're still practically a hobo. Why is that? Are we? Is this hobo cop line? It's because of that Gart guy riding my ass. The system is broken. There's a market for corrupt cops out there, but the immigrant cops have price dumped it. Fucking taxes, man. I don't know. Why am I so poor? Because of the taxes, G-Man's got his jam-covered sticky fingers in your pocket, stealing from you every time you buy, sell, walk, talk, fart, or s so much as sneeze. Aren't taxes almost non-existent in the gossamer state that is Rivashal? I thought there were no taxes. Really? Every time I sneeze? Every time you wipe your ass, they got their direct and their indirect modes of taxation. A sales tax, excise duty, extraction tax, alimony, one tax that doesn't even have a name. Plus there's the stuff people in other countries pay for that makes them ask for more money from you here. Total tax duties add up to... 
98% of all your money. No fucking way. I guess I'm a free market fundamentalist now, opt in. Are you sure? That seems like a pretty big number. This isn't helping me solve my money problem. It's only making me into a free market type. Are you sure? What are you not sure about? They're milking your nipples till they bleed. Can't you see? Aren't you sick and tired of having bloody nipples? No fucking way. I guess I'm a free market. Bleeding nipples are kind of a pain, but how will deregulation help with that? Opt in, but only a little. <laughs> it's all about the tax issue, Hustler. No other problem in the world is as pressing as the top marginal tax rates. Don't you fucking forget it. Look at this shit, man. Look at this shit. First, if you have a side bitch ideology cooking somewhere, don't sweat it. <laughs> oh, what? Fighting indirect taxation for the Gossamer state is, incom is, is compatible with all creeds. It's cool like that. You're a cool anarchist now, unless you don't want to be an anarchist. Whatever, stuff this meal ticket in your eye socket and let's see if we can steal some love back from the robber barons at the custom customs agency and the banditos at the Insulid Insulidian... Am I ever going to say that right first time? Financial Oversight and Competition Committee. You lose empathy while you got this. Oh. Wow. Alright, let's fail miserably at this 3% check. Vigilance, officer! What can this old carabiner do for you? All you observe is a veteran refusing to let go of the past in his old uniform. This is not uncommon. He catches your glance and nods. This is the uniform of the Royal Cabineers in service of Frizzle I, Guillaume Le Lion, and the valiant King Philippe V before him. Don't you mean Frizzle the Fun? You do not speak his name, Craven. Although he was a clown, he adds, he turns back to you. But he was our clown, ours to ridicule and to mourn. There's something you missed. You will get to it, don't worry. Okay, cool. Wait, who's that? You're new. <laughs> Working class woman. <laughs> you see a sturdy woman humming to herself. She seems to be browsing books. A good one pointed at the book. Hello, no ceremonies, just hello. Hello, she nods, her attention fully focused on reading. Who are you? No one. I'm just a working class woman. She doesn't really want to be disturbed that much. If she's a working class woman, why isn't she working? <laughs> Shouldn't a working class woman be working? I mean... That's a weird thing to say, but it was a weird thing that she said, so fuck it. Not all the time. Right now I'm browsing books. Even a working class woman needs something to read. Phenomenal. It is. I'm a policeman. I know you are. Good then. <laughs> Do you need the help of a policeman? What with? <laughs> Maybe your husband is missing. My husband? No, he's not. So where could he be? I don't know. At home now? Out drinking with his friends? Working? Where is this going, officer? So what I'm hearing is you don't really know where your husband is. Yes, but she looks around and takes a deep breath a little annoyed. I don't really need to know where my husband is. Not all the time. Wouldn't you like to? No. She looks at you straight in into the eye. She looks you straight into the eye. Her right foot is tapping nervously. I can totally help you find your missing... <laughs> Why are you still talking about this? I haven't lost my husband. She has, though. The husband is totally lost. You should tell her that it's okay. Hush, baby. It's okay. Let go. Hush, baby. What? It's all right to not know where your husband is. Nothing shameful in that. No, I was talking to myself. I should hush. I'm a baby. Who said anything about shame? Stop talking down to me. She puts her foot down. My husband is not missing. But he is. You can feel it. Or maybe something else then. Maybe your children are miss missing. Maybe your cockatoo is missing. Watch her browse books. Her hands move over the book covers. The tips of her fingers look rough, stained with yellow. It seems like she has spent a lot of time, a lot of time at work smoking. Another comrade. Years of labor pressing down on her shoulders. She deserves a hug for all the work she's done for mankind. Give her a hug. You step in and close your arms around this foreign body, wandering astray in touch. There's a small movement beneath your hands as you shut your eyes then a tiny voice breaks out and asks what is happening she seems to be confused your hands are wrapped around her polyester coat the fabric feels cold moist from the scene nearby and meanwhile kim is like what <laughs> keep hugging her 
The situation is oddly intimate. Your cheek is pressed against her shoulder. Her hand is trapped between your chest. Five seconds pass, and, this, and, their, and their passing seems so unimaginably long. Then she coughs and says again, uh, What are you doing, officer? Less talk, more feeling. Keep your eyes closed. Soak in the closeness. See what the feeling entails. Keep your eyes closed for a brief longer. I am fighting for the working class. <laughs> Hey, I hug whoever I please. I'm a hug monster. Number two. Fighting for it how? She hasn't let go of your embrace yet. Hug by hug. One hug at a time. A hug a day keeps the bourgeois away. <laughs> oh, there's a strange sensation as the woman strengthens her grip. She's hugging you back. I guess it's better than nothing. Keep on, keep fighting on, my fellow comrade. Then she breaks up the hug, her cheeks flushed. Is there anything I can help you with? Maybe your children are missing. No, absolutely not. Her words come out quick as gunshots. Okay, where are they? Are you police? A policeman or a nanny? She's definitely disturbed by now. Nanny, where are they? They're not missing, sir. You know where they are. They're at home, smoking, giving the ladder of vices a chance. They're at home, right? Smoking cigarettes. What? They're... That's just... My daughters are perfectly fine. There's nothing... They're with... Sorry. They're with friends down Jamrock. There's nothing to worry about. Just skip the line there. They're almost grown up now anyway. They're past the age they need me protecting them from everything now. I'm afraid the danger is now greater than ever. Tell me, how old are they? My youngest girl, Jolie, is just shy of 16. Jenny is turning 18 next month, but we shouldn't even be talking about them. And can you describe me their appearance? Any features that stand out? Something to, to make identifying a little easier. Why do you need to know this? Haven't I repeatedly told you they are not missing? That they're in Janrock, safe and safe and well at some stupid party. It's for the investigation. I'm trying to be professional. There's no investigation here. I can tell you that. She picks up a book and tries to concentrate. A flock of seabirds passes by. Okay, it must have... It must be asked then, what are you doing here? Why are you pursuing this? Is it a hunch? Maybe your cockatoo is missing. I don't mean to disrespect, sir, but you are being a bit of a cockatoo here. For what it's worth, I agree, but cockatoos can't be stopped when they get like this. It's better to indulge him at this point. Ma'am, I was asking about your cockatoo. Is it missing? What do you mean I'm being a cockatoo? Nothing. Go read up on them if you're so interested. There's a great book at the, in the bookstore. Maybe you should. What if the cockatoo is your astral captain or your heraldic bird? Actually, that's what I'm that's exactly what I'm going to do. Thanks for the tip. What? This is a quest. Find your heraldic bird. Alright. Fuck it. Alright, cool. Alright, let's go get it. Hi, I need a book on a cockatoo. Fuck it. Hi, do you have a bird on a cockatoo? Okay, do we get XP for that? What have you found? I'm and also, do buy the books. There may be teachings in them. I'm looking for a book about cockatoos. A book about cockatoos? There should be one upstairs right next to the shelf of biographies. I talked to the entity you told me about. Her name is Naha? Naha? And she's a novelty dice maker. A novelty dice maker? Her eyes widen. Well, spit it out. Why does she need the dice or some some kind of sorcery? Sometimes they use, they use the ankle bones of sheep. She's not a sorceress or some malicious entity. She's a businesswoman like you. No, ma'am. I have felt her aura. She is not the one to blame for this curse. She may be involved, but I don't have a way to question her malignant entity further. She looks perplexed. I don't understand. If it's not her, then where is the source of the doom? How did she explain the curse? The narrative she's built herself. It does need tearing down. Just, just don't say you don't have any answer yet. The uncertainty is killing her. To hell with it. Perchance you ought to just lie, sire. <laughs> she says there is no curse because there are too many inconsistencies. The source is the taxidermist's shop. He became involved in arts darker than taxidermy and brought the void spirits down upon this place. Honestly, I don't have that answer yet. There are still leads to be followed. That sh like that strange radio computer thing. There is another entity, more malignant, pulling the strings in Martinez. Perhaps my travels were cross paths. I really want to lie. I really, I, I, I want to lie so bad. So bad I want to lie. Oh my god, I want to lie. I'm lying. Oh, how horrid. I knew something wasn't right about that place. Tell me, did you find a way to break the curse? Yes, I utilized the secret methods of the remote viewers division. Yes, I called upon the spirit of Guillaume Le Million and to banish the curse in a flash of disco brilliance. Yeah, I despooked it. The curse is definitely gone. I'm afraid you, I can only identify the source. Okay, one or two. 
Let's go one. The woman nods. I understand that you can't divulge official secrets, officer, but know that I appreciate the efforts of your department. She looks at you with sudden admiration. Uh, how about a free book? All that matters is that the energies are re retreating. I can finally feel the curse lifting. It will be a long time until we fully, we're fully free of it, of course, but still. Oh, man. Oh, man, look at the XP. Thank you, officer. You've brought a better psycho emanation to this humble bookstore, and, there's, and that's no small achievement. She so badly wants this to be over. She would have believed anything. It will only last a day or two, a week tops. Then her mood will sour, and she will feel the curse again. All right, then. All's well that ends well. The lieutenant turns to you. Should we return to our ordinary lives? Of course. All right, so what should we get? All right, so we can we can upgrade Save Our Fair and try and get our, our, um, our code again, right? Or... We get more perception. We can't get more perception because we don't have enough motorix. I kind of want to get. I kind of want to get Savior Fair again. I kind of want to try. I kind of want to try. However, should we reward drama? I kind of want to get Savior Fair. That is that is what we need, right, to get the coat. I think so, right? Let's get it. These shelves are overburdened with books from the same series. You see the name Dick Mullen over and over again. A couple spook novels hide them amidst all the detective books. Thrilling tales of spycraft and daring do. Storekeep. What's all this crime fiction? Oh, crime, robberies, murders. She lowers her voice. Even sexual crimes. We're fortunate to have Dick Mullen and his stories to sort all that out. You're a, a police officer, apparently. You should buy all of these. They're, they really do teach a person how to be a proper detective. Look through the display of books. Crime fiction is a disgrace. An asinine misrepresentation of the physical attributes and the arduous everyday work of the actual of actual police officers. These books greatly overstate the excitement of police work, glossing over how long it takes to actually follow up on leads and eliminate dead ends. What's more, they completely ignore the psychological hardships of year after year coming into contact with people during the worst days of their lives. Not a single mention of all the stress this work creates on, upon the officer's family. Detective fiction just doesn't tell the truth at all. How Now, would you like a list of books found on the shelf? Oh god, no. <laughs> The shells filled to the brim with crime novels featuring the supposedly, yeah, whatever. Oh man, all right, are we actually getting XP? Let's see, hold on, I wanna see. We have 52, all right, so we get one for every orb, 52. So 53. 54. Wow, oh, holy shit, this is a good thing that we got. Did that say a tome of fascist magic? Everyone knows the most interesting thing about fascists was their magic. This is true, did that give us XP? Oh my god. All right, it's really good that we got this. All right, is there any other thought that's really good to get? Apart from 2B. Uh, thank you, Puckered Starfish, for the 233 bits. Home improvement yesterday. How you been, Joe? Sorry for starting the music stream. My bad. Uh, I think we all had a good time, so don't worry. Uh, I think maybe it'll be a yearly... Uh, a yearly tradition. Thank you, Puckered Starfish. Uh, thank you, Glucose Knight, for the 613 sub. Best wishes, Joseph Owu. Owu? Ahu? Uh, Lily's not here, so uh, take a take a half ass claw fist for me. Thank you, Glu Glucose Knight. Another boring book just discarded here. The World of Discalizian is based on the Devs D&D campaign, so there's a lot of backstory, and most, but not all, of it is just window dressing. It clears up once you've talked to everyone once. Okay. Seems like most people said art degree. Hmm. Okay, so if we can get art degree, we'll get art degree. It's, it fits with our our um our uh, our RP as well. But we don't have art degree on the list, do we? Actual art degree. How do we unlock actual art degree? This bookstore is not strictly about crime, romance, and biographies of famous people. There's also a wide range of paranatural literature. Look through the shelf. Amidst the various books, you find one written by someone named Matthias W. Dundas. It's about wholeness, unity, and balance. These three things are very important to the working class mind. The point of the book and many others on the shelf is to give people medicinal advice in situations where they don't have access to paid health services. Uh-huh, that's interesting. Uh-huh, interesting. 
Various paranatural books to the shelf. Okay, I don't want to talk to the, bar the, the storekeep about those. I want to find stuff about the bird. Several maps have been attached to a bulletin board inside the alcove. They're held up by small pins. The board has come loose from one corner. The maps look old and faded. Your eye catches a map of Insuland, a map of Rivashal, and a map of Martinez. Oh man, I want a map. A large map displays archipelagos. <laughs> archipelagos. You can you see a constellation of small dots on the light blue emptiness of the Insulindic Ocean. The largest in the northeast is Le Calo. You are here. Another far away from the south southwest, Seminese Islands, Il de Phantom. Ozone, Lauren, Laurentide, Face à la Mer, Archipelagos, North Arcade, Islands, all just specks of dust on the vastness of the Cylindic. On the edges of the map, the color fades into a blue dotted, into a blue blur of dotted lines, sorry, black and white, Dis disintegrating into mathematics. Nice line. In the northeast, the dust mite stands on the north coast of Kalu in a bookstore. It's you. Squint first. Can you see cities on the islands? You can on Kalu Rivashal, a single black star, on Ozone, Fond de l'Air, and Virmandux, sounds like a dragon's name, on Archipelagos, Croyant Moraine, Villiers, on Seminine, Seminine Old Duvai, on Laurentide, Dior of the Seven Seas. Lost little pearls of light, tiny fires in the dark. 850 million people live on the on these little dots. An oceanic world of culture and commerce, torn apart by history and global warming. Look at the edges. The ocean breaks apart into a tangle of cosines and azimuths, all pointing into pale nothingness. Mundi is the north is the north azimuth. Grad is the northeast azimuth. Samara is the east azimuth. Seol is the west azimuth. Isola is their call. What the fuck is an azimuth? Connections to other worlds. Wor wor words? Oh, that's a mistake, right? Worlds past the Insulidian? Unknown to you. You only, you only know you've never been there. You have a little idea what they are. Distant stars, gods, but looking at them makes you feel almost non-existent. Where, whatever they are, the Isolas are immeasurably large compared to you and very, very far away. Perhaps they are gods, gods of distance and outer dust. Look at the map of Rivashal. The north coast of the Verdant Island is shattered by the delta of a river. It is the river Esperant. Countless bridges put the shards back together, connecting city blocks to River Island. Sorry about my creaky chair, by the way. Sometimes I, I shift in, in my seat a lot during streams, and um, I think I might need to get a new chair. Uh, La Delta says a great artificial heart in the center, teeming with life forms and construction. To the east, rolling hillsides, Le Jardin, Stella Maurice. The suburbs of St. Baptiste swallowed up into the megacity. They sound rich to you. This is Rivashal East. Koron, it's somewhere to live. Not bad. Then there's Jamrock. It's bad. People shouldn't live there, but they do. Then Fauborg. It's almost as bad and much larger. Then Coal City. It's the worst. You feel, you've, you feel you're just west of Coal City, somewhere above Jamrock and close to Coal City. Look at the map of Martinez. It's not really a map, it's a tourist thing. A picture postcard with buildings on it, drawn from an isometric perspective. A date in the upper right corner says 48. Still, it's detailed. It could be pretty useful for scouting ahead. You see the jagged boxes of an industrial harbor, even the whirling and rags there. Storekeep, can I buy these maps? I'm sorry, officer. The map of Martinez is the only one available. The other two are not for sale anymore, and besides, you could scarcely afford them. They're quite valuable, though they must they might not look at the map of Martinez is 90 cents though. Why is the one in Martinez so cheap? The old thing is an out-of-date map of a tourist location that, ne that never was nor came to be. From when some design studio people tried to spruce... Just night, just straight up sense? Hmm. Spruce about four or five years ago, they also renovated the horse statue, set up those coin-operated viewers, and designed the new street lamps. This The place does not look like a successful tourist trap, does it? What happened then? They didn't get very far. For some reason, a shame the project never got going. It would be nice if someone fixed Martinez up. All these ruins are bad for business. Oh, should we steal? 8% angry storekeeper stared out. Now we don't steal. I want to buy the map of Martinez. Um, like 90 for, for nine, oh, I mean, well, let's let's see what it does. Maybe it opens some, some map thing that we have. Oh, okay, cool. All right, so we got we got something. Oh no, oh no! How big is this game? Oh no! Oh, f oh no!
It's not that big. Yeah, but every step of the way, there's 45 minute long conversations with just people littering in the street. It's going to take us three weeks just to get to fishermen's fisherman snacks and then another two spend another four weeks in the church <sighs> mirror oh right Oh, it's nice that this shows up now when we see interfacing knickknack stand. The plaque on the shelf reads biographies of famous people. You see a large variety of names, then I which ring a bell. Start keeping anything note on the shelf. I would say the woman hums to herself. The great greatest innocence. Yes, most certainly. It's an important educational tool delving into the depths of history, re religion, and the relation to innocentic power. Who or what is an innocence? A very influential historical figure, but surely I don't have to tell you that. She waves her hand as if casting aside the thought. You're a law officer, and law officers have, have at least some education. Wow, that's mean to someone who just got rid of your curse. The book is also very daring. The author aims to re-examine the universal understandings of the innocentric, innocentic system, creating a fresh vantage point and a shift in the tired order of things. I thought it was about which of these innocences is the coolest and greatest, so you recommend it. Great, I don't need to know anymore. Perhaps for a layman, she scoffs, deep analysis is necessary to peel back the multi-layered meanings. Do her words seem vague and abstract to you? So you recommend it? Of course. Certainly, it's prudent for a person to have at least an elementary understanding of history and society. Imagine the chaos we'd be in if other be in otherwise. Browsing through all the books with all their names makes your head spin. None of these seem important or relevant. It's just vapid egoism. Suddenly, a particular odd title catches your eye. It reads, High Speed Love, the tragic true love story of Jacob Rur and Alfie Delatraz by one Cecilia Averbook. Rather, Brooke, sorry. High Speed Love chronicles the romance between two of the finest tip top tourney racers in history. One of them is the madcap driver Jacob Err. His blonde mane graces the cover. Next to Err's life story, you see a slim biography of an occidental rock star called the Anti Star. He's famous for shooting morphine into one of his eyeballs and cocaine into the other. Oh man. Next to that, Rivachalian radio personality Guillaume Bevy, another Guillaume, stands in front of, hit of a rundown drug den. He's a permanent fixture on Channel 8, reporting on real life crime and ruining cops' days. I really must insist you buy one of the books. You're interrupting. You're interrupted by the shopkeep. Reading them is not for free. Do still browse though, but not too long. She understands. She has erred against the customer and immediately corrects course. I'm sorry. I did not mean to rush you. You are browsing. Go ahead. Take your time. Time is commerce. Time is commerce. All right. Is this the book for the bird? From. From A to Zriek, a guide to a well-behaved cockatoo. A sulfur-crested cockatoo sits on the cover. Its beak slightly open. It looks as if the bird is calling out to the... Sorry, it looks like the book is calling out to the book title. From A to Zriek, a guide to a well-behaved cockatoo. Flip through the pages. Turns out that there are so many different cockatoo species, and they all have behavioral problems. Nice. What about this guide to cockatoo, storekeeper? It's, it's, it's a must-have if you own a cockatoo, because there's so many. I've heard they're quite ca capricious. I want to buy the guide to the cockatoos. Steal the guide. No, we're, we're, Yusuke, no steal. Oh, a nature enthusiast. Good choice. I knew it was a good idea to keep that around. Bit expensive, if you ask me. All right, here we go. How is this real? A cockatoo is a parrot with an erectile crest found on the Seminine Islands and in southern Face à la Mer, known for their intelligence and general pr precociousness. <laughs> Precociousness. Cockatoos are popular birds in aviculture. However, they often exhibit various behavioral issues. 
This book talks about the delicate nature of twos as well as introducing some of the most popular species among the bird enthusiasts, the funeral cockatoo, the major majestic cockatoo, and the most common bang bang cockatoo. It's colorfully illustrated. All right, what problems do these birds have? Read about the funeral cockatoo. Read about the major majestic cockatoo. Read about the most common bang bang cockatoo. Number one. Where to even begin? I know, right? All cockatoos are known for their needy natures, requiring attention for at least two full hours a day. They love to talk and have been described as lovable clowns who just don't know how to wrap up. I could handle that. It would be nice to have someone to talk to when feeling lonely. Who would ever want a chatty companion? I want someone who knows how to listen. Number one. Pet owners also report moodiness, loudness, and hostility as reoccurring issues. If left unsatisfied, cockatoos may scream nonstop, pluck their feathers, or become aggressive. Right, that's pretty bad. Anything else? It is not recommended to get a cockatoo if you're not able to cook for the, to cook them food every day. What? And give them full care that they need. The full care they need, sorry. These birds will never understand that you have a life of your own. Yes, but there has to be something great about cockatoos as well. You're right, cockatoos are magnificent creatures. They love to perform, cuddle, and show off, and will even scream for fun, often as loud, often as, loud as up to 135 decibels. Ouch, that must hurt. Not great for the neighbors. Performing, yes. Yes, birdie. Read about the funeral cockatoo. This is the yellowtail black cockatoo. Its specific name, not even going to try. I actually am going to try. Pisticus funerius relates to its dark and somber plumage. This bird looks as if dressed for a funeral 24-7. There is something indisputably ominous about it. Cool. Perhaps the most impressive of all the species, the endangered major majestic cockatoo is often described as the most flamboyant bird in the jungle, its pink colored wings and flowing crest embellishing its proud and bumptious, 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 I think bumptious nature. In the words of poet explorer Sir James Fournier, few birds more enliven, enliven, enliven the monotonous hues of the verdant forest than this big, bold, and beautiful species. Read about the most common bang bang cockatoo. Are we going to have to pick one after this? Despite its banging name, the bang bang cockatoo is actually the shyest of the species, common in, in, um, common in almost all Seminese forests, as well as zoos and homes all over the world. Its plumage is mainly gray and white. The Seminese name bang bang is thought to be of an ono... <sighs> Onomatopoeic origins. Honestly, this bird does sound a bit like me. Yes, but all these cock those cockatoo species are so different. Which one are you? The gray and common bang bang. That's me. Only the funeral cockatoo in its darkness can truly grasp the, the depths of my doom-laden soul. Isn't that obvious? Major Majestic, here I come. But what if I am a fuck patoo? Fuck you patoo? Fuck a patoo? A fuck up and a cockatoo. I have to say some- oh, fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. You're right, you're a fuckatoo embodied. This sorry ass bird belongs on your heraldry. Her heraldry. It probably doesn't even have feathers and only screams. Put the book away. Awesome. Awesome. Are we done? Is that it? That's it? That was a quest. The warm map of features the patchwork grid of the streets, martinets, with directions to appropriately touristy locations. <coughs> Warning, slightly political fan art coming. Look at it without laughing. <laughs> How's it going, Lily? Okay. Did you see this? No. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Parrots of the world. 
what have you become? This this is this is the rest of my life now. Is 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 streaming this game? This is this is stream five. Apparently, we're five percent done. It's that long. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Yep. Thank you for the water. You're welcome. Thank you for the water. You're welcome. <clears throat> Thank you, Bad Drops, for the 13 month resub. Thank you very much. Oh, Lily, Lily should have given you a cloth fist while she was here. Sorry. Thank you, Bad Drops. Thank you, Namoran, for the 13 month resub as well. Have you tried Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlands? No, I have not. I've never played that. We're going to be playing that soon. But I have I've never played it before. Um, I don't even think I, I tried it. Um, I remember when it came out, it was it was a fairly big deal, and I wanted to play it back then, but no, I've, I've never tried it. Wow, my screen is dirty. I need to wipe the screen later. Uh, thank you, It's Suren Kelly, for the 45 bits. All I have left. Thank you, thank you for the bits. I'll, I'll take all the bits you have left. Thank you, thank you, Kelly. And thank you, All Rounder Gaiman, for the two month resub. I can't believe I'm just sitting here watching a man read a book about cockatoos and slowly going insane and having the time of my life. Are you having the time of my life? I hope I hope that the, the playthrough is, is at least a little entertaining. I don't understand why there's so many people that are interested in watching this. Um, I'm having fun. Like, it's an interesting game, but um, I don't know. I, I question it as a stream game. Thank you, thank you for this, man, Big. That was really good. <sighs> Trace a path through the grid. Your finger moves through the various streets across Rue de Saint Gishlan and Rue de Saint Cisper over Saint Brune and the Martinez North. You finally, come to a halt on the spot where you are currently standing, although the map gives no such indication itself. For more detailed view of the map, go to your journal, then the map tab. Put the map away. All right. Um. So, do we have to go talk to her now that we know that we're a cockatoo or a fuckapoo? I don't know. Fuckapoo sounds like a really bad night to me. Let's go talk to her. Did you get around to listening to Prison Colin... <laughs> Colin and Sin... 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 No. <laughs> I can't even say it. I can't even say it. You were right that I'm a cockatoo. She's gonna be like, what? I went and read up on them, just like you said. I even decided on what kind of cockatoo I am. Want to know? Please say no. I don't know. The most talkative one? She's ready to put that question aside. No. I'm a f... Fuck up a two. Forget it. It's too personal. <laughs> oh my god. That... Is that Yusuke? Is Yusuke fuck forget it, it's too personal? I feel I feel like that's just classic Yus Yusuke. But I wanna tell her. I wanna tell her. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm going one. I wanna tell her. The what now? The fuck up a two. It's the one who always fucks everything up. No, you're not. Don't think that way, she says, slowly shaking her head. The wind brings a strand of, of hair to her rough face. You're just a regular talkative co Cockatoo. <laughs> Is that a mistake or <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Let's see if that okay. Alright, let's move on. She doesn't want to. She doesn't want you to be the fuck up a two. All right, leave. All right, cool. Thank you. That's what we were All right, let's go. This never. Let's, she never we can never see her again. All right, we can never see her again. All right. Oh my god. It is Tuesday. All right, let's go see if we can make that jump for our coat. You still doubt it's a good string. I just, I like those moments are, are few and far between. 
All right, so it's say save our fair or save our fair. I don't know what, how to say it. All right, let's take it off. Um, what what's giving this flare cut trousers? All right, is there anything that gives us more? No tools. No. Okay. Sav warfare. Sav warfare. All right, here we go. Here we go. We're gonna fuck it up again. We're gonna die. Fifty-eight percent. Wait, we don't have any. We don't have any morale charges. Shh. Alan Z. As you leap in the air, a chilly breeze engulfs you, sharpening your sharpening you senses. Your senses. You go play Bob O'Reilly. Close your eyes. Let your senses take in the world around you. Continue the voyage through the salty air. Oh, we got healed morale. Ankles tingling from the tension, blood roaring in your ears. You are ready for your rendezvous with the concrete pavement below. Continue the voyage through the salty air. After they received their fourth game award in one day, the devs said we would like to thank Marks. Damn, legit. As the concrete floor welcomes you, you realize it's been a while since you felt so alive, alert, capable. It must must be the adrenaline. I knew you could do it, the lieutenant exclaims. My climbing down might not have been as disco as your jump, but at least we can explore the harbor. Wait, climbing down was an option? What? What? With your feet firmly planted on the concrete, the noise of the harbor rushes back in. I spared the core and shivers. Oh, nice! Look at look at us. We're fucking styling now. Disco ask ass blazer. Damn, this is just this is just this is just a straight upgrade from dis disco ass blazer. Damn, look at this. Look at the gaming we're doing right now. 100% straight upgrade. Nice, that's what we like. That's what we like. All right, do we want an insane mesh tank top underneath instead of our white tank top? Of course we do. Or do we just want a white satin shirt? Collecting rainwater. All right, did this unlock a new area? Okay, this this did not do what I thought I was gonna do. I thought this was just gonna open the door back to where we just we just came from. Oh, for fuck's sake, you guys! Oh my god, for fuck's sake, you guys! <sighs> Center office's file cabinet. The drawers seem to be locked. Someone left the coffee machine on. The dark liquid in the pot looks almost sentient. Damn. Neat office shades, visual calculus minus one drama. How, how is that worth 4.5 real? That's worth so much real. On second glance, someone has forgotten to properly close one of the drawers. All right, here, here's 10 minutes of dialogue. Because we opened a drawer, it's unfortunate for the union to just have their leave their paperwork lying around like this. And then drama shows up and is like, have a conversation with the drawer. And you're like, hey, drawer, what's up? And the drawer's like, I'm going to show you the secrets of the universe if you fucking succeed this this check. Whoa, well, tell me 5%. Oh, let's go for it. Oh, you succeeded. All right, time to do a mount monologue. Oh, the drawer's head. The, the, the drawer fucking flaps open like it's talking to you. And you start to see smoke. Kim, you seeing this? He doesn't talk. It doesn't answer you. Let's see what... Open the drawer. The drawer opens smoothly. Inside is a well-organized selection of brown folders. Browse through the, the folders. Hundreds of documents contain logistic logistical data. Two kinds of transactions stand out. Materials coming f into Rivashal from the outside world, from Mundi, Grad, and even Ilmara. 
and the same materials being handed over to companies inside Rivashal, Curran, Coal City, La Delta, and Jamrock are listed among the many districts where the imports are being sold. I think the spookiest part of the game so far has been when, when we used the intercom and it was a recording. I thought that was pretty spooky. I wonder if that's going to mean something later on. I hope so. That was spooky. Sp Spooky. Uh, thank you, FreeKill101, for the 813 sub. As an ultra lib cop, please interpret my sub as market demand for never ending Disco Elysium. Thanks. <laughs> uh, thank, thank you, thank you, FreeKill101. Thank you very much. Clawfist. And thank you, Chill Music Nerd, for the new sub. New subs for this. Nice. Thank you, Chill Music, uh, chill music Nerd. Welcome to Primetime. Welcome to the Pickle Pile slash Pile Patrol. Take your pick. All. Once you finish the game, can we get a Chan Award straw poll for the Yusuke Arts? Oh, uh, which Yusuke one is better? Sure, we can do that. As long as Q2 is okay with that. Anything interesting? <laughs> it's hard to make sense of this thicket of company names, dates, quantities, and percentages. You try to focus, while lines are getting blurry. Oh, look, a skill check to see if we can go. All right, Volition, 42%. Failure. Look at look how blurry all the lines on these papers are. How unwieldy your will own willpower is to yourself. You're like an absurdist Sam Samaran monk, force focusing th through not focusing. Hermeneutics. Hermeneutics was almost within your grasp, but now only vague letters float before your eyes, less meaningful, but aesthetically more pleasing. If I let my eyes go completely out of focus, all shapes start melting into each other. Could I actually focus through not focusing? You are a police officer, not a spiritual healer, but I have my bird now. You can focus on the normal way by turning your attention to do something and not letting go. If I let my eyes go completely out of focus, all shapes start melting into each other. Is that what you're doing with those folders over there? Yes. Never lie to Kim. Never lie to Kim. Right, Lieutenant's, exp Lieutenant's expression stiffens. This is probably not relevant to our case. After all, we are not investigating on an accounting my mystery. Oh, we get to try again. All right. <laughs> You're trying hard, but the data here is unbelievably dry. Something about contagion. You just lost two coin flips in a row. Close the, close the drawer, leave. Fucking hell. This is Dewey type, a Dewey typewriter. The model name is on the back. Every worker, member of the board, is written on uh, at the top of the flyers. Heal? Why heal? Why does having more morale um, make you, you you succeed more often? Below the flyers, the union logo and demand democracy. Risky to have low morale. I mean, I'm two out of three. Is that low? Is this Darkest Dungeon? Like, I don't, like, really? An imposing combination of a punch clock and a payphone is looking down at you from the wall. A note on the side says, tokens unavailable due to strike. Use change. Oh, is this a working phone? Can we go tell who needed the phone? The lady in the wheelchair needed the phone, right? The machine swallows your coin and seems to be waiting for your next move. Interfacing, challenging. Let your muscle memory dial a random number. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did, don't we have like an interfacing kind of kind of something? Hold on, leave. Hold on. Don't we have interfacing stuff? Interfacing. Suggestion. All right, all right. interfacing. All right, here you go. Okay, do we have any tools to help us with interfacing? No. Okay, I'm not the biggest fan of having to micromanage our shit, but I guess it's kind of kind of janky and fun. All right, here we go. How could we fail the 28% after failing the coin flips earlier? Damn. It's unclear whether you actually have muscle memory. Right now, your finger is just drawing vaguely occult patterns in the air. Useful patterns? Undoubtedly, no. I might try this again later. Sure, why not? Muscle memory is a tricky thing. Darn. The radio is emitting strange buzzing sounds. Uh, did we level up yet again? Mm, no, we didn't. Okay. A giant aspirin on the pillow and a pattern of coffee rings on the armrest. The door is locked and cannot be opened from this side without a pass card. Guess you have no choice but to talk to the union leader. 
Oh. Oh, this doesn't leap back to... Oh, wait, are we stuck? Kim, I have some bad news for you, buddy. Yes? Give me your dislike from SF3 Fafting about during the during a war. I'm surprised that, uh, that I don't like uh, the school, dis dislike the school leaves him for not focusing on the murder investigation. I think that the silliness of the game, like right at the start, just makes it be able to do whatever the fuck it wants. All right, so we're stuck. Hmm, okay, so how do we... All around you, great machines in... Quiescence? 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 White pine trees are printed onto the screen covering. Looks like a forest under snow. And you, you can focus on the murder one. Yeah, that's true too. Like you, you can focus if you want to. Well, I, I assume so. I don't know. I haven't played it enough. Let's just hit buttons. A wrestling control panel with several knobs, two buttons marked Alumer and A. Etendry are faded with use. It seems to control the large crane above and a container is attached to its hook block. Alamer on. A tondre off. Pre Let's just fucking press buttons. Why not? With a loud grind, the crane shifts overhead, moving a massive metal container through the air. Cool. This is fine. And with surprisingly quiet thunk, yeah, that was quiet. The crane pr places the container down. The harbor sleeps as the strike rages in the distance. The crane can rest again now that the purpose has been fulfilled. Its purpose? What do you mean? Moving this container, of course, for the purpose it was built. For this purpose it has acted, and now it will rest. I can't see how that was worth the ruckus he looks at the crate, except for seeing the crane in action, which I admit was satisfying. Um. I don't want to press the other one, just in case it, 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 it uh, undoes it. Um, what would that be? Environment? The heartbeat is music? I guess environment. Let's leave music how it is. Whoa, okay, I did not understand the perspective there. See if I did industrial lettering on the platform, Kvalsund. Kvalsund means white fjord in Arden. All right, so this is balanced precariously off here. So if we can we go in, and if we do, don't go far to the end of it, or we'll, else we're gonna fall. Before you stand, a cargo container, just one of many in the yard. Kim, I think there's something about this container. Lieutenant sighs. Is this like your thing with the wall, with that wall again? Maybe. I can't tell. I think we should investigate further. You do because I don't. What? Why not? There are a million. There are a million container. There are million containers here. Why are you fixated on this one? It was hanging from the crane. I don't know, Kim. It just feels special. It's a cargo container, detective. Just like all the others, he doesn't even look at it. We're not here to interact with containers. We're here to get the get the body down from the tree. Knock on the door. No reply. The knock produces a howl, a hollow ring of metal. Doesn't sound like there's anything inside the container. Open the door. You attempt to turn the handle to no avail. The door seems to be mechanically locked. To your to your left, the lieutenant considers your actions with some puzzlement. Nothing more to do here now. All right, what if we turn it off? Wow, this 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 just keeps going. The shipyard ahead is hardly quiet. This just keeps going. All right, what if we turn it off? All right. Do, 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 do. 
All right, that did not unlock the door. All right, uh, I want to go the other way and see what's the other way first. I wish I could hold the mouse button down to move. Whoa, wait, 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 can we go over here? No. Oh, oh man, so much tart. Newest empty bottles of Commodore Red and potent Pilsner. At least two packs with cigarette butts. Are those empty wine bottles and cigarette butts on the ground someone Sorry, are all those, not are those, someone partied really, really hard here. Was it me? Wait, how hard did it? <laughs> well, they went through six bottles of potent Pilsner, three three bottles of Commodore Red, and almost four packs of cigarettes. They must, they must have been pretty hard. Did I do this? Well, the lieutenant looks at you and then the bottles. Yes, I think we can say with relative confidence that, that it was you. This is really sad. I must have been miserable. It looks like I had a lot of fun. I'm still not completely convinced it was me, uh, number one. Yes, Lieutenant agrees. The scene isn't exactly ripping with joy. Let's just move on. He turns to leave. Yeah, we can pick it all up. Wow, how did we not die? Well, I guess we kind of did die, didn't we? This is the Night Watchman's booth, and the name on the door reads, Rene Arnaud. Listen, it's okay to take a few minutes to yourself, sit down, and have a breather. So this is where Rene w works. I'm going to look around, search the booth. If you must, Lieutenant looks around, but please hurry. We're pretty easy to spot up here. Nothing incriminating catches your eye. The cabinets are clean, and the sparse contents meticulously organized. There's a framed photograph on the table. Take the picture. It's a black and white photo of a young couple out on, in a street fair. The man, Renee, is dressed in a royal cat cabinier uniform. The, young, the girl is young and very pretty. She is smiling playfully at the camera. Renee looks like he's about to smile. The photo must be tied to some good memories. Why do you take that picture of Renee? The lieutenant asks, glancing at the photo. I'm going to ask him about it. I'm a cop. It's instinctual to collect evidence. I'm making an artistic photo collage. Oh, real art degree. Here we come. Of course you are, he says matter-of-factly. What murder investigation would be complete without an arbitrary photo collage? Have a seat. Rest. The chair is not as austere as the rest of the booth. A thin gray pillow is attached to the seat, secured to the, to the styles by black ribbons. Breathe deep. Search for a little something something to help you out. Get up. Breathe deep. Stale air floods through your nostrils, and a single mote of dust floats inside your lungs, though. And the inside of the booth is immaculate. The drawers are empty, save for old-time sheets and receipts. One small box, however, just does hold some cheap painkillers. They are slightly out of date. Kim, would you mind if I help myself to some meds? Take the painkillers. Read the side effects. Oh boy, where to start? Elevated risk of dementia, mini strokes, prophet's disease, <laughs> sudden death, hair death, erectile mal malfunction, critical flatulence, flatulence, watery blood, black mucus, uncontrollable weeping, increased sensitivity to the opera, <laughs> inoperal joint disorder, total spinal collapse. Kim, would you mind if I help myself to some pain meds? To some meds. Lieutenant shrugs. I'm not here to tell you what to do, detective. I kind of feel like this is a really bad idea. Get up. Leave. We're doing a no, a no drug run. Why does art inspire you? So oh, are we in? Chat. Chat. Chat, are we in? Why does art inspire you so much? It does, yes. But what is art? Excellent question. Art is a diverse range of visual, art, literary, auditory, and performative creativity. It's an expression of imagination and technical skill. Additionally, it's, hist his it's history, criticism, and pure enjoyment. In short, art is the highest form of human communication, representation, narrative, emotion, and agency intertwined. It's a shame video games don't fit into that. Would I fit into the art world? I mean... Have you looked in the mirror lately? You have the exact features of a savage art critic with that beard and those clothes, disheveled and prophetic. <laughs> Perhaps you should try to, to critique, critique architecture too. Nah, just video games. Hold on. Is architecture also art? Of course not. It's... <sighs> autism? Of course not. It's autism? I don't know that word. Box drawing, masturbation with a ruler, and a, 
and a sextant and, or whatever they use. You should demean and criticize the genteel institution of architecture while extolling the virtues of pure arts. Wait, what about music? Is it art? Only the most experimental kind. <laughs> I guess I have been feeling critical lately. Yes, you seek substance, no vapid representations and reproductions of social mores as made manifest in stuffy bi biennials. We're talking real living art here. Become the art cop. Half art critic, half cop. Wait, but don't I have to be 100% cop to get the case finish and all that? Okay, if 50% art critic is what is what's needed to free me from rote repetition, so be it. Quit being so indecisive. What are you what are you doing going for here? Some kind of indecisive and camp aesthetic now? Strike a bold shape here. Go art or go home. Alright, I'm opting in. Exactly. It's not only your duty to catch the criminals of the street. You must also apprehend criminals of the printing press and the gallery, the trite and derivative artists and writers of the world. Go ahead and provide savage criticisms, art cop. The world is yours to rip to pieces and reassemble. It's happening. It's happening. Actual art degree, it's happening. Alright, so we need to unlock a slot for this, or do we need to replace it with something else? You need you need a um, skill point to forget, so fuck that. We'll unlock something before we forget. Alright, how, how close are we? Oh, we're four away. We're four away. Oh my god, we're four away. Yeah, it's another copo type. The worst one. <laughs> I thought art cop would be like you're still a cop but you're artistic about it not not you're a cop for art the most savage and brutal the art cop nothing is good enough for him. everything is shit <laughs> Do you know how many people actually think this is me for video games? Do you have any idea how 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 many people think this is actually how I am for video games? You have to employ an armada of adjectives to depict and demean the mediocrity of the works and visual institutions from Nintendo. Really flex that critical muscle until the vocabulary for punishing mediocrity becomes second nature. Here we go. Perception can <laughs> look at the shit. <laughs> all right we need four this is this is all i want now we have to get these four all right let's look at this let's in inspect this from over here no we need to inspect it right away i have i have to get this is all i want The pure Yusuke line has begun. Both art and cop. <gasps> the musk of oil and rust comes from the chasm in front of you. Smells like blood. Are we? Are we there? <gasps> Three more. All right, here we go. All right, do we need the the thing in, in our hand? Speaker tower is silent. There's no work to organize in the yard below. How many? Two more. Two more. Industrial sized thermos. Smells like burnt coffee. We need one more. Bl what do you mean, blind streamer? What do you mean, blind streamer? What blind streamer? What do you mean? What are you talking about? What, what, what are you talking about? What I miss? <gasps> yes! The banner sags under the weight of the rain and snow. White waves on red. How fitting! How fitting! How fitting! Here we go. Actual art degree. Right now, we can't even look at this shit. 
Art cough arc has begun. Who the fuck are you? Container, container, I'll turn you nice and red. Container, container, put the logos on. Nope. When are you going to start seeing Snow Halation? Oh. Easy, Leo. Yo! The lyrics to this container song are being made up as he goes along. Oh man! If we were Arkoff, we could criticize this shitty song. No! I want to. Can we reload and come back when we have fucking Arkoff? No, we could have. We could have. I want. There's no way, right? Can we? Can we? Should we come back? Quick save. I kind of want to save scum. Chat. Should we save scum? I kind of want to do it. I kind of want to do it. I think. I think that we could criticize his 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 fucking his shitty song. You have nowhere to go, you can't get out? What if there's a way? What if there's a way? What if we just talk to talk to Kim for a while? We can read our cases! Yeah! We can read our cases! Fuck! It takes half an hour for to read a case and, and it take it's 90 minutes to get it. We got it. Son of a bitch, I'm in. Actual art degree. Okay, so it takes it takes an hour and, and 30 minutes. All right, here we go. Okay, so can we go in here maybe let's 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 read it hold on let's see if time passes what is it right now it's 130 will it tick down whoops okay read a case file all right the square bullet hole murders it would be very interesting to read about these, wouldn't it? I mean, there seems to be a square-shaped entry wound in the victim's forehead. She's been sitting there for weeks on her rocking chair with a square hole in her skull staring at the wall, her mouth agape. But that's all you got from the half hour you spent piecing it together. All you know is the entry wound was square-shaped. You never found the bullet. And then another body showed up, also with a square hole in, in his forehead. A sequence killer. Who knows? Those pages are, are missing. What next? Don't worry. One day. Oh no! Oh, it, it, it progressed time. Alright, did it work? <sighs> We're in. We're in. We're in. Alright. We're in. Alright. One day you may still catch the man with a square gun. The couch is an, in the couch in an unexpected location. <laughs> Some assholes brought their couch outside and hung out on it in the middle of the street, on the roof, on the hillside, by the motorway, you know, at an unexpected location. They were young and they thought they looked cool on it. They actually looked like assholes. They looked really cool, like models. They looked really cool, like a rock band. They actually looked like assholes, insufferable dicks. Young people are the worst. So anyway, okay, Boomer, you gotta complain about the damn sofa or couch or whatever it was. They were leaving it out in all the, these unexpected and whimsical locations they took t took it to, where they also took photos of themselves on it and smoked cigarettes and drank coffee because they felt they felt it's intellectual. Cigarette butts, coffee cups, stupid couch. You had to clean it all up, and you did. So con congratulations to you. Case solved. Did I ever catch those guys? No, you didn't have time for that. These notes show that you have that you have what is called a real goddamn job. <laughs> Goddamn job. You don't have time to be chasing down the couch assholes. You have a real job to do. What next? All right 26 minutes Murder at the hook hookah parlor Murder tam 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 at the hookah parlor Was a case originally assigned to an officer called Joseph Mills who is now dead of circumstances completely unconnected to murder at the hookah parlor wait how beaten to death by a throng of villa villa lobos Gang members, when him and his partner JM, only initials mentioned, answered a call one night. It's a sad story and it isn't really represented in your case file. Stop stalling and get get to the murder at the hookah parlor. Right, on with the 
murder. Joseph Mills was on this case so that he just couldn't solve, was doing it solo, said it was a real nutcracker, a real brain twister, was on it for like a month. The captain got impatient. Shit or get off the pot, Mills. Mills didn't get off the pot, not yet. He kept at it for a couple weeks more, racking his brains, running with every theory as outlandish as they seem. Still couldn't solve the murder at the hookup parlor. Tough case, he said. Tough as he, he's ever had. Wait, was Joseph Mills a good cop? No, he was awful. Awful sense of humor, too. The worst jokes you've ever heard. Really rapey. Still, he'd been on it for months now. Said it was the final case. Said it was uncrackable. That the murder vanished into thin air. That goddamn hookup parlor was all he talked about. Go on. Okay, so the case hand, the case is handed to you because Mills isn't getting anywhere, and you look into it. Here's the setup. A young man is found dead in the hookah parlor. Uh, you know, those places where you go and smoke bubblegum flavored vapor all day. Can you get high off of it? No, it's soot and water vapor. It doesn't do anything. Really stupid. Yeah, so anyway, a young man in his 20s found with his skull busted open right in the floor of the hookah parlor. In the middle of the day, no one else is, is in there. Only client that day, in perfect health too, some kind of movie producer. No one enters, no one exits. He's just sucking on his watermelon hookah all morning, all noon, and like he usually does. He's a regular. No calls, nothing. Oh, so it's not about, it's not about hookers. All right. All right, I didn't get that. Just sucking on the hookah. Until 15.45, then bam, he's dead on the floor with his skull busted open, blood everywhere. What happened? How can it be? Mills had no idea. Invisible Assassin movie deal gone sour. Girl, the counter did it. Nothing fits. Eerie. Man just dropped dead. So you go to the parlor. You see cushions around the table. Table's low, heavy, real sharp edge. Mom's spaghetti. He looked, he sucked hookah, stood up, passed out, hit his head on the table and died. See, you can't even read the thing without solving it. Yeah, it was that. Turns out hookah does do something. It, turn, it turns off your brain's oxygen supply, and you don't notice it until you get up to go to the bathroom. He must have sucked a lot of it. Yeah, he liked his hookah. Steven was his name. And what was he doing there for six hours? Smoking hookah. Didn't you hear? I don't know. Trying to come up with a movie script, maybe. Anyway, that was the murder of the hookah parlor. Joseph Mills wasn't a good detective. And about 30 minutes has passed since piecing together. Next, I can revisit this. Put the case files away. Oh, look at that epic, epic Merle. Trite, contrived, mediocre, milk toast, amateurish, infantile, cliche and gonorrhea ridden pan to conformism I fucked me a <laughs> affront to humanity war crime should literally be tried for war crimes resoutly shit lacking in imagination uninformed reimagining of limp wristed premature ill-informed attempt at talentless fuck fest <laughs> Recidiv recidivistic shit peddle shit peddler pedantic listless savagely boring just one repulsive laugh after another and more are how I would describe my time with Super Mario Odyssey minus one hand eye coordination handshake from anger how shit <laughs> conceptualization passives heal plus one morale and give plus 10 XP? What? Okay. Alright. Was that worth it? Let's see. Will we criticize this guy's song? Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please, please. 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 Container, container, I'll turn you nice and red. Container, container, put the logos on. The lyrics to this container song are being made up as he goes along. What was that criticism? Was that different? Did we just get healed from that? Oh man, that's powerful. The accent is so thick it's impossible not to notice he's Ubi from the vanishing peninsula of Ubi Sunt, sick on Monday. Container, container, used to be well pines. Container, container, now belongs to Everett. The tiny man is so engaged in his work he doesn't notice you. Hi! Everett, 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 he looks after everyone. Huh? Well, hey there. He smiles. How can I help you, master? 
The look in his deep blue eyes is as sincere as you've ever seen. Kind of makes you feel like an asshole for no apparent reason. I see you're not a union man, Mesto. Did you get lost? You're not one of them scabs, are you? A shadow passes over his kind face. No, of course I not. I mean, I don't personally mind. Folks is just folks, you know. And folks gotta eat. He doesn't seem to be waiting for you to answer. Just, some of the other guys don't look too kindly on the scabbing kind, if you know what I mean, mister. You're Ubi, right? What are you doing here with the containers? Where's everyone? The harbor is empty. Do you work here? Where's that container over there? Point to the container suspended from the crane arm. I'm looking for the leader of the dock workers union. You're Ubi, right? Oh, yes. Born and raised in Irish? E Irish? Irish? Mister, mum had to leave my dad after he got a bit violent. Took us here to the new, new, new world. I was about 10 then. Too old to lose my accent then. People say us Ubis are up to all sorts of trouble with sheep and other animals and whatnot. I just want you to know there was never any of that where I came from. No, sir. Those are just nasty rumors. Thank you for clarifying that, sir. What is everyone, what are you doing with the containers? Um, I'm just making some covers for them containers here. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. So it's easier for the crane operators to spot them. He weighs at the containers towering behind him. Logic. Oh, there's no way. There's no way we're going to fail a 97%, right? What's going on here? Look at the mountains of, of container. Mountains of container rising behind him. The containers in the yard are green in the wild pines livery, and the mountain rising behind Leo is all red in union colors. Wait, do we get 10 XP for every single time conceptualization shows up? Because if that's the case, holy shitballs. Really? Oh my god. We're going to be swimming in statues. Oh man. We just metagame the fuck out of this with art degree. Oh, holy shit. Holy sh- Okay, let's show this right now. Banger after banger fan art today. Holy crap. The Witcher video is melting through my brain and I forget so much during s stream breaks. Drama. Ooh, method acting. <laughs> Conceptualization. A common problem with long story games. Twisted into an immersion enhancer, completionism. Open the drawer. Open your mind. Maybe can maybe I contain the game's best scene. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ironic weaver. Snowrish. <laughs> Yusuke Ayaya, to be the I. Holy fuck. That's awesome. Thank you, Merrick. Just wanna just wanna point out real quick. Just wanna point out real quick that we're um how many how many streams are we? We're 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 five streams into this game and I just I don't wanna I don't wanna worry anybody, but um We haven't got a chan. There's no chan. You guys broken? Real art degree Chan? Actual art degree Chan? There's no Chan. Is this a Chan free game? Maybe it should be a Chan free game. Maybe Disco Elysium is too too pure. Would you like some fuck Chan? Uh, thank you, Ellie Asua, 55 for the new Silver Prime. Welcome to Prime Time. Thank you very much. I hope I'm saying that right. Elias Asua, I think so. Thank you very much. And Squirrel Turtle 13 used 100 to say, Hey, hey, Joe, two days in a row. Just kidding. I'm a VOD girl today going to catch up on Disco Elysium. Just wanted to pop in. Sorry, pop and say, I hope you, Lily, and the kids are having a good New Year's. Uh, pretty good so far. Um, I'm, I, I'm, 
simultaneously exhausted and just completely drained and kind of kind of hating life right now trying to finish the video but at the same time it's sort of like duality of man kind of thing where it's like it's it's so close to the end that it's like fuck yeah get it done you know what i mean like so it's kind of uh it's kind of a mix of the two it's it's a bit weird actually uh but so far yeah pretty good thank you thank you on squirrel turtle hopefully you hear this and um shout out to the vod boys and girls Duality of man. Duality of Chan. Thank you, Bucket Starfish, for 97 bits. I'm only broken on uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday for some reason. Thank you, Bucket Starfish. Sorry, what? Did you explain Lily's three? Oh, it was Leo. Leo. Leo just hit the keyboard. I asked her about it afterwards. I think narrative games like Disco Elysium shouldn't have a traditional fail states because players either save scum or play suboptimally by not by not doing so. Rather, failure should just branch into a different story route. Yeah, that's true. But then again, I think that having the fail states adds to the narrative, and it's just expected that you'll reload. So having the having those like um, those uh, those exit points, I think I think can add to it. I, yeah, you know, I think they have their place. Thank you, Merrick. Snow halation. It's like some red infection was spreading outwards from the container yard's core. There appear to be cisterns underneath the Union container covers. This looks like a massive redecorating operation, Kim. Leo, has anyone ever has anyone told you why you need to change the covers? What is underneath these red covers? Let's do number one. Yes, they're hiding it from the inside. The red, all the red containers have the Debiter's Union logo on them. Leo's anyone told you why you change it? No, not really. He shrugs and continues merrily. Mr. Everard doesn't tell me all the big things. Says I go and tell... Says I go and tell them to everyone. Says I go and tell them to everyone. Oh, he, he said, because you can't keep a secret. Okay, I didn't understand. What is underneath these red covers? Oh, I don't know, mister. They say it's some chemicals. Chemicals? Chemicals? Most of them have labels on them, I think. Thanks, Leo. You've been very helpful. Oh, no trouble at all, mister. No trouble at all. The little guy affirms merrily. Where's everyone? The harbor's empty. Oh, most of the guys are down at the gates, keeping the scabs from coming in. He leans in with a confidential look. We're on a strike. The whole union is. You don't have to work when you're on a strike. Ha. We haven't worked for two months now. I it was four. So no one is working? Not everyone down is down there, of course, he chuckles. Mr. Everard is in his office, where he always is, and Jean-Luc is guarding the gate. He pauses to think. But Titus and his boys got into some drunken trouble, and Everett sent them on a nice vacation for a week or so. He stops, but seems eager to tell you more. Oh, I'm not really supposed to talk about that. That's union business. He smiles and leans closer. Him and his boys stirred something up in town, probably drank too much and got into a fight or something. I heard Mr. Everett telling them to take some time off. But what did they actually do? Really? Did they kill someone? I have another question. We already know that that happened, right? Really? Did they kill someone? No, I don't think they killed anyone. The little guy shies away from you. Let's better talk about something else. Titus and his boys do good work. I don't want to get them in trouble over a little drinking. He probably doesn't know anything anyway. Who in their right mind would tell him? Hmm. Is this a front? Hmm. Do you work here? Yes, yes, yes. Everybody needs a job, and this is mine. I'm Leonard, or Leonard. By the way, Leonard Bellick. Everybody, everyone calls me Leo. The little man raises his hand in a welcoming gesture. I'm like Mr. Everett's right-hand man when Mr. Edgar is out of town, and Mr. Edgar's right-hand man when Mr. Everett is away, he chuckles. Right. Actually, Miss Beaufort is, is the right-hand man, but she's a lady. A good hearted to chuckle again. Who is this Miss Bo Beaufort? Lieutenant looks up at Leo. A real pretty lady with skin like those Dauks and Sucra? What? Sucra? Candy bars. My missus like so much. Them are real nice to suckle on once the dinner is done and me and the missus sit down besides the radio. But I can't listen to the radio all the time. There's so much to do around here, and I'm always busy keeping things running here. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Hold on. Who's this Miss Beaufort you mentioned? I think you're doing a great job around here, Leo. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this place would totally fall apart if you didn't shine the boss man's shoes, Leo. Aw, be nice to Leo. Oh, Lizzie, she's a real sharp tool. Mr. Everett put her through some fancy school and everything east of the river. Four years she was gone, and when she came back, she was all fancy and lawyerly. He respects that word. That's obvious. But she's a real nice girl, grew up 
in this here neighborhood, knows everybody and gets along with everyone. Real pillar of the community one day, I'm sure. For a fraction of a second, there's the sadness in his eyes. He goes on, if me missus and me was out to have a child, I'd be really happy if she turned out like her, but she can't have kids. Dr. Lamer... Lemaitre said so and she knows about such things been a doctor for almost 50 years she has he sighs and falls silent watching me meekly with his blue blue eyes law school could she be talking about the union fixer aka the gardener okay so the this union, so this this the union fixer the gardener looks like it I'm not sure what a fixer is, but she is a real nice girl. Smart as a whip, too. The little guy smiles disarm, disarm, a disarming smile at you. I think around two hours is where I hit my limit for this amount of reading. It seems like it, huh? I think I should be able to power power through, but yeah. Telling the gardener you know her name might throw her off. Perhaps something to consider later. Add another one to the mistakes pile. What's the special container over there? Oh, that one. He looks at the container. That should be empty as far as I know. Lots of containers here have nothing in them. They're just waiting to be loaded up. Told you. Hmm. I'm looking for the leader of the Doc, Doc Richards Union. Oh, you want Mr. Everett then. He's an awfully nice fellow he is. Him and his brother are both nice fellows. They've lived their entire lives in this here neighborhood. He coughs and continues immediately. Hmm. I doubt it. I'm, I'm expecting to have a bad time with these guys, but maybe not. Guys like Mr. Everett and Mr. Edgar, his brother, are real good guys. Made Martinez what it is today. Mr. Everett and, Mr. and Mr. Edgar and I went to the same school we did when we were boys. Easy now, Leo. I just want to know where I can, fi where can I find this man. Oh, Mr. Everett is where he always is. In his office, of course. He points to the two joint containers on your Right. Okay, I'm off. Leave. But bye now. He returns to his work. Yeah. How do you, how did you get up there, bro? Wow. Yeah. The, the XP is real. Oh. No. You know what that means, chat. Dragon555 has committed a crime. <laughs> 20,000 coins off the Ayaya. Here we go. As time goes on, we become more and more like a game show around here. Alright, 20,000 off. Oh, what have we become? Alright, it's done. 20,000 is off. I'm glad that you're all still excited about it. Only only like 7,000 more of these to go. It's not happening, weebs. Give it up. Give it up. Cla class Classy Another one. Think Thinking there's hope. Thinking there's hope. Just give it up. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Reviewer requests queue. All right, here we go. All right, Dragon is done, and Classy Motos is going to be done right now. It's, it's not. Just give it up. Give it up. 20,000 gone. All right, there we go. If there's more now, we'll wait until the end of the stream, and we'll do it in, in a big batch. All right. Congratulations on, on moving, almost moving one of the nines down to an eight. Yo, let me pay to, to raise the amount of coins. Maybe that will happen if, if the weebs get halfway down. Maybe that will happen. We'll see. Is there another one? Firebug 170. Okay, we'll do we'll do the, the batch at the end of the stream because I have a feeling a bunch of people are hitting 20,000 right now. What happens when the countdown reaches zero? Then we enable a yaya. The coffee is in a giant thermoses. It's still lukewarm, it said. 
Then we enable the Yaya. That's what it's about. A Yaya is unlocked. And there's no bullshit either. There's no bullshit. It's not like, oh, it's enabled for a day or anything like that. Or, or good thing this isn't a democracy. No, no, no. If, if, if the weebs get it, it's it's uh, it's enabled. But they're not going to get it. It's a billion monocoins. You're not going to get a billion monocoins. There's no way. Just give it up, weebs. Give it up. It's not happening. Uh, thank you, Zelante, for the 17-month resub. Thank you very much. 17 months in the Rubber Dub Sub Club. Thank you, thank you. Uh, and thank you, Nep Dimension Tripper, for the 10-month resub. Setsu na sak ni wa na ma e o se ke yo ka insert you know what here. Ayaya? These nuts? Thank you, Nep Dimension Tripper. I don't know what I just said, but maybe it was ho horrible. Said soon. Ah, oh, it's snow halation. A stair made of pallets leading up. Goddamn snow halation roulette. A taxidermy fish that tells time. Nice. Alright, so. Um, this looks like it's gonna be a big deal. Let's save it. What the fuck is with the eyes? Wow. Wait, didn't one of them say he had a lazy eye? Oh man, nice attention to detail. Before you is a walrus of a man seated behind a large desk. He looks up at you from his work, not the least bit surprised to see you. With great effort, he straightens himself up in his chair, yet says nothing. He simply stares at you. Are you in charge of the dock workers? Let's get straight to business. There's a dead body in a tree. Welcome, Mr. Dubois, Mr. Kitsaragi. It's good of you two to stop by. Please, have a seat. He gestures to a tiny chair opposite to his giant desk. I'm Everard, Everard Clare, head of the Debardeurs Union here in Martinez. The man relaxes into his chair and continues. I'd offer you my hand, but unfortunately my health prevents me from getting up. You understand. He looks extremely comfortable. The tiny folding chair, on the other hand, looks like a torture device. You go ahead. Detective. Lieutenant nods at you, then the chair. Whatever he has in store for you, it can't be good, he thinks. I'll do my best. Forget about that. What's with this Du Bois stuff? You're getting some seriously bad vibes from that name. Take a seat. I'd rather stand. Why are you calling me Mr. Du Bois? Please, Mr. Du Bois, let us converse in a civilized manner. As du Bois. Equals. Sorry. Take a seat. I insist. It's nothing, yes, that's probably right. It's nothing. Forget about it. Take it. Filter it out. I don't sit. It's kind of my thing. Very well, Mr. Dubois. I respect a man with strong convictions. As he nods, his multiple chins move like ocean waves. I, too, have convictions. One of which is that I will not engage any man who won't face me at high level. Should you find yourself more amenable in the future, I'd gladly resume our conversation. But until then, I'm afraid I must ask you to leave. He turns back to his typewriter. You're no titan of volition, buddy. He's got you at a... Oh, it failed! He's got you in a fork. Sit down or leave. Alright, I leave. Alright. Am I gonna have to do this? Because I can't I can't get out of here without it, right? Yes? Yeah, I'm, I'm stuck, aren't I? Well, well, that sucks. All right, I guess we're sitting. Mr. Dubois, I hope time is on your side this time. Please. I'd rather Please, stand. Mr. Dubois, let us converse in a civilized manner. All Excellent, right. Mr. Dubois. Take a seat. I can see that you're a reasonable man. And reasonable men, reasonable men can be of great use to one another. He gives you a sly wink. Kim, are you going to sit down in the other chair or no? Remain serious. Try to wink back. Damn, this chair is uncomfortable. So tell me. How can the head of the Debarges Union help a representative of the Revachal Citizens Militia today? It is Revachal. It's not Revachal. It's Revachal. Oh, you trolly chat. The chair you're sitting on has got to be the most uncomfortable chair in the world. It's violating your backside. Oh, by the way, I heard you got a rather rude reception from a certain Lawrence Garte. 
Some people have no manners. It pains me to say. This should take care of that nonsense. He points to a giant novelty check on his desk. It's absolutely comically huge. It should be sufficient to cover your expenses for a few days and patch over your differences with the cafeteria manager. Go ahead, take it. He points at it again. Wow, that's 25 real. That's good money. You need it. Yes, but you'll owe him for it. Wait, you know Gart? Thank you, Everard. Take the comically large check. Take the comically large check, but don't say anything. Keep it. I'm good. Leave the check. You can take that comically large check and shove it up your ass. Wait, you know Gart? Yes, I know Lawrence. He's a real character. No union man in him. A real piece of work, that boy is. Are we going to die from sitting in this chair? With a grin, he points to the check again. It's like you're on a game show. At least don't, th at least don't thank him for it. Keep it. I'm good. Okay, okay. I respect a man with principles. No handouts, then. He crosses his arms on his ample midsection and sinks further into his chair. Now, I'd like to set your mind at ease about one other matter. Your lost gun. Let me assure you, union people are on it as we speak. I've got my best hounds looking for that lost gun. Okay, this is not going the way I was expecting it to. What? How, do, how does he know everything? Lost gun. Lost gun. <laughs> His slug-like lips move, but all you hear is an echo. Lost gun. Lost gun. The world is swallowed by a black hole of fear. Only two words escape its gravitational pull. Lost and gun. Is this like a fucking boss fight? What he said, don't worry, he he actually meant be very worried. Sorry, when he said don't worry, he actually meant be very worried. How do you know about my lost gun? I'm not worried. I got this. I would appreciate any help you could provide. Let's be, let's be, um, number two. Are you all right, Harry? You say you've got this, but you seem a little anxious to me. Don't be. Everything's going to be all right. So we're Harry Dubois? It's not like you left it loaded. You didn't lose a loaded gun. Local children aren't out there playing with it right now, pointing it into their own mouths. It's in a safe place. I just know it. I have a feeling everything's going to be all right. <laughs> Very low. The chair is killing you. Minus two. Side effects spooks. Here we go. Here we go. We need to get double sixes. We need to get double sixes. Here we go. Surprisingly close. God, you're sweating. Your knee is jerking. You're about to cry, aren't you? You're about to cry because you lost your gun and those children are going to shoot themselves with it. No, I'm not about to cry. Try to stay cool. So what? Men can cry too. No, I'm not about to cry. Mr. Dubois, you don't look so good. What the fuck is... What is this Mr. Dubois? Do we need to... Do we need to heal? No, I think we're okay. What is this Mr. Dubois? He keeps repeating. What is he trying to pull here? You need to cool the fuck down. Chill. Mr. Dubois. Mr. Dubois. Harry. The large man snaps his fingers, but to no effect, you're in some stupor. Keep sliding down the chair like a jello shot. There are no Harrys. Let your mind go to your safe place. Mr. Dubois, are you okay? Can I get you a glass of water or something? Are you having some kind of medical emergency? Maybe you could use your hand somehow in a kind of throwing motion, like you're throwing that Mr. Dubois rack right back at him. Nah, he's Mr. Dubois. Nah, I'm as good as it gets, Mr. Dubois. Vaguely gesture with your hands above your head. Oh yeah, man, I'm fucking great. Keep sliding. Actually, this chair is uncomfortable. I could use that glass of water. Sip upright. I'm melting. Um, I mean, one sounds hilarious to me, but um, I think three is probably the best option. What an odd demonstration of... Huh? You got me, Harry. <laughs> I don't even know what. As entertaining as it was, I'm afraid we're wasting our time. And I'm an extremely busy man, as I'm sure you are too. Super busy. Okay, enough. We are here to ask you some questions pertaining to a murder investigation. 
quick, here's your window, get yourself together and ask him questions, police officer questions. I'm told the union is involved in the local drug trade. Aren't you going to ask me how I got in? You called me Mr. Dubois, why? Could you help me get a dead body down from a tree? Let's talk about my lost gun. I want to talk about the hanging. I met Joyce, the company representative. What's the container that's outside your office? <sighs> okay, four is why we're here. You might have noticed there's one hanging on a tree beside the hostel cafeteria. Oh my, he smiles pleasantly. Don't don't take this question personally, but why would I get involved in this matter? Miss, Mr. Clare, the man was hanged with a cargo belt, a steel reinforced cargo belt. It's safe to assume the union had something to do with the murder. Besides, getting the body down would benefit all of us. It's a stain on the neighborhood. Also, I studied the footprints at the crime scene. Worker boots. Yeah, the belt, thanks. <laughs> Nothing. Your community leader, help your community out. Um... Do we want to give him information about the about the about the murder? I don't think so. Um, yeah, the belt thing. I can certainly see how having him up there might start affecting some real real estate values. He licks his fat lips and smiles. But of course, all joking aside, I am going to help you. He picks up the handset of the radio a radio phone to his right and clicks a button. Jean-Luc, my boy, I'm sending two police officers down. They have a dead body and a tree problem they need help with. Namely, they need it to be taken down. And Jean, please take it easy with the race science. That's a yes to getting the body down. No to the race science. He hangs up and turns back to you. You can find Jean-Luc down at the, at the gates. He turns back to you. He's the big, impressive one. You know, tattoos, muscles, ethnic looking. Can't miss him. Great guy. I'm told the drug the union is involved in local drug trade. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Um, maybe let's go with... Let's go in order. What? He smacks his forehead, completely flabbergasted. Harry, how could you say that to me? You know I appreciate a joke as much as any jo jolly fat guy, but I can't take this slander. Are you actually investigating this? The reaction appears to be sincere, but it's impossible to tell with this guy, honestly. No, I am. No, I am not. Lie. Co no comment. Mm, I think we should lie. Damn, Yusuke lies a lot. The man rubs his temple and closes his eyes in pain. You've hurt me, Harry. Me, a friend. But you know what? He perks up. I trust you like I trust all my friends, but and I know you'll never talk to me about this again because you don't want to wound me, so do what you want and let's change the subject. He's hiding his real reaction beneath the courtesy. Thank you for understanding, Lieutenant looks him in the eye. We will continue to do what we must. You too, Lieutenant. Heh. <laughs> he chuckles suddenly. You know, I like you, but you were never my favorite. I'm a Harry guy. I'm Team Harry. None taken, the man quickly replies and then turns to you. Did we have anything else to do here, Harry? Aren't you going to ask me how I got in, Harry? He says almost gently. Honestly, I'm just relieved you didn't get a hernia, a man your age. A man my age? What are you implying? I'm at the peak of my abilities. I too am surprised by the resilience and athleticism of this tool I've been provided with. Tap your chest. <laughs> yes, yes, Harry. You are obviously in peak physical condition. I salute both your initiative and your physical prowess. Very impressive, Harry. Very impressive. Anyway... I assure you, I am very well informed. I am a very well informed man. Information reaches me before I even get the chance to request it. You call me Mr. Dubois. Why? Of course. Let us dispatch with. Let us dispatch with the formalities. You call me Everett. I call you Harry. That's what the hang corpse called you, Harry. So that's really my name. My God, it's. So it's true, I didn't want to believe it, but you are a fantastic science fiction amnesiac cop, aren't you? He shrugs with an amazed expression. What are the odds of that? I think the odds of that, he looks at you, are very low. Hmm. I wonder if Kim is start is, is starting or has started a while ago to think that we got into some some serious shit and that we 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 need his protection. Like we've been tampered with or something. It might be a good idea to hide your confusion. I mean, see what his tr his game is first. It's true. My memory is a bit hazy. My memory is fine. Just testing you. I assure you, there's nothing to be ashamed of, Harry. You're among friends, and that's and, and the good news is, he taps on the folder in front of him. I have a big fat folder on you, Harry. I'm sure you can ha you have a lot of questions to ask. Maybe I can help you out. I'm sure you had some concerns. You had some concerns you thought I might be able to address. He pauses to look down on a brown folder on his desk, and you were probably right, I can. It's just a brown folder. You can't make out what's certain on it. Are you trying to tell me you've gotten hold of some of our documents? The lieutenant inspects Everard over his spectacles. Mr. Kutsuragi, would you mind? His eyes never leave yours. Me and Harry are talking about his lost identity right now. Don't jump to the folder. That's not, that's not smart. Show you're on edge. Do some probing first. <sighs> Have another look at that folder. Okay, let's go down the list. 
Let's get this straight. What is my full name? It's Harry. He glances at the folder. Harry Dubois. Wait, I thought you are. I thought you are Harry Dubois. What? Okay, I like it. I can work with that. I don't really like it. I'm okay with that name. Sure. And I can work with you, Harry. He raises his index finger. What else can I do for you? Do you know where I live? But of course, Harry, he nods. Your precinct is in the 41st, and you live in Jamrock. You're a Jamrock boy, a long way from home. But that's okay. He doesn't really seem to know any more about it. Do you know anything about my family? Do I have a wife or kids or family? Harry, you're not a family man. That's, there's not one peep of family in here. Unless you think you're a family man. Do you strike yourself as a family man, Harry? You're right, I don't. I think I do. I'd be a wonderful father. Never mind the family too. Well, yes, he looks around uninterested. I'm sure you're going to make one little boy or, or a girl very happy and, and proud one day, Harry. What kind of cop does it say I am? Art cop. Well, Harry, he turns a couple pages in the folder. If... I were to sum you up in one word, it would be apologetic. <gasps> I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, <laughs> he's sexy over his giant bug eye glasses. You seem to be a lot of, a lot of the time, but right now there's no reason to be. Let let loose a little. Be you. Where did you get that folder? Ah, this. He closes the folder. My friends in your organization gave it to me, Harry. This translates into haha. You guys are so corrupt. I find that very suspicious. May I have a look? I'm afraid this is meant for unionize only, Mr. Kutsuragi. I'm sure you understand. He turns back to you. Please continue, Harry. All right, drama time. As you look at the folder, Everett covers it with his hands and pets it. He's hiding it from you just because it's not a real RCM folder. It's just another one of those brown folders you saw on the file cabinet. Oh, we need to go back and inspect that. That's not an RCM folder. Okay, Harry, you got me. He says, grinning. This is from the Census Bureau, not the RCM. Those Census Bureau people are absolutely corrupt. You should do something about them. He got the name from the Census Bureau and everything else from your actions here in Martinez. Yes, yes, Mr. Kitsurugi from the Census Bureau. Like I said, he looks annoyed. Now, I'm actually a very busy man, so is there anything else I can do for you, Harry? That means he doesn't really know anything about you. A pity. The mystery of you will, will have to remain a mystery for the time being. So are we actually called Harry? So Census Bureau says my name is Harry Dubois? Yes, that's what I said. Try to keep try to keep up. Okay, let's move on. Let's talk about my lost gun. Yes, your lost gun. His face turned serious. My best men are on it. They're turning every stone, searching every playground, asking kids, grandmas, everyone. Your gun will be found, Harry. Let me assure you of that. He winks at you. It's just a matter of time and effort. Interesting. The only way to find it seems to be working with him. He might even be holding your gun hostage. Hold on, could he really be holding my gun hostage? Wait, the gun might have been bought from Roy's pawn shop. Have your men factored that in? I will not be blackmailed with this gun business. All right. Who knows, only one thing is certain, if you work with him, you're going to get it back, and working with him might be the only way to do it. Hmm. Yes, thank you for the hot tip regarding your lost gun, Harry. My men have indeed, makes air quotes, factored in that you pawned it. Now please, let's let the professionals do their job. Kick back, Harry, relax. I have great guys on this. You focus on what's important, building our relationship for the good of Martinez. It did not come to it come it did not come a surprise to him. He might actually not be bullshitting. I will not be blackmailed with this gun business. Harry, Harry, I was only trying to be tactful. A lost gun is a dangerous thing. I can't have it around in my neighborhood. Track down your gun. His tone is suddenly very serious. Kids could be playing gun roulette with it as we speak. Well, as long as it's not snow halation roulette. Teenage gangs could be arming themselves. Get a hold of yourself, Harry. I assure you we are working on locating the missing sidearm as well. The gun, the, the gun lieutenant. Lieutenant is concerned about the lost gun and feels that the fact you haven't prioritized looking for it is unfortunate, if inevitable, and doesn't put the RCM in a good light. Excellent, Mr. Kutsuragi. That's excellent news. He claps, claps his hands together. Looks like we have a, fa a friendly gun finding competition in our hands. I want to talk about the hanging. Oh, of course. That's your main thing here. That's why you're Martinez. He nods. I know everything that goes on around here, and I would love to help you. Like, I'm helping you with the body and your lost gun secret task i mean it's no secret that the lynching is connected to the strike so much to talk about honestly it's been weighing on me so heavily i understand you need to interview me i sense there's a but but there's a thing that's been keeping me up at night i want to talk about the hanging i mean if we could just calmly talk exchange information we could blow this thing wide open yes it sounds good the lieutenant says with a slow slow, slow nod can't talk let's do that but i can't think straight with this th with this thing weighing on me suddenly he slaps himself on the forehead you're police officers aren't you i have a crazy idea you guys are basically door opening machines incredibly talented at door at opening doors 
I've opened a few doors in my life. You've heard wrong, Everard. We're not. Kim, is that true? Are we door opening machines? You've heard you've heard wrong. Oh, you're being too modest, my friend, he chuckles, but don't worry. This annoying thing I have is completely legal. I just need you to open a door. Why don't you just open it yourself? Whose door is it? I bet you don't even know anything about the hanging. Fine, I'll look into it. We need to talk about about that murder. Why don't you just open it yourself? Harry, I'm a very busy man, and more importantly, I don't have that extraordinary physique you do. He slams his fist together. You look like you could run around all day. You want to send someone a message that the police are, wor are working for you. I repeat, I'm a very, very busy man, Mr. Katsuragi, and therefore I must occasionally enlist outside help he turns back to you so what will it be harry kim's a really smart boy whose door is it oh no one's it's just a weasel a weasel lives there nothing for you to worry about what do you mean by weasel a loud blabbering weasel when weasels feel no one is watching they start acting foolishly he removes his glasses and rubs his nose just go there unlock the door and leave it open it's been such a burden on me harry i just wanted this to be over with so i can discuss business with you he puts his glasses back on i bet you don't even know anything about the hanging Harry, my dear, he sinks deeper into the chair. I am what people call a local bigwig. I know everything that goes on Martinez. All right, do we ref refuse it or accept it? I feel like if we accept it, we might get some some leverage on him. Maybe like just because we we accept it doesn't mean we have to do it the way he wants. Let's do it. Fantastic, my friend. Just let me know when it's done and we can take our friendship to the next level. He looks his fingers. You can get the key from Man Manana. He's down by the gates. Manana is like a free agent in the union, special operations, hardened socialist, <laughs> a real free thinker too. He'll tell you precisely where the door is. He smiles, obviously satisfied with how well you planned it all out. One last thing, Harry, just open the door. You don't need to go in or anything. Just want that weasel to come home and see the unlocked door. This is weird. I met, I met Joyce, the company representative. Oh, that's very nice. I haven't gotten around to her yet. I'm very, very busy, you see. He adjusts the button on his sleeve. I hope you're getting along. One thing I want to make very clear, Harry, is that this is not some kind of union versus corporation situation. Everyone is just pals here. We're all we're all trying to do what's best for Martinez here. His smile widens. Don't feel like you can't cooperate with her because you and I are such good friends and I'm helping you get that nasty body down from the tree and we're finding your lost gun. I'm not a jealous guy. What happened to the previous negotiator, Mr. Gaumont? Joyce said the previous union leader vanished under suspicious circumstances. Everett, Joyce seems to think the union is lowballing her. Why haven't you let her in to see you? Number one. What do you mean, Harry? The big man sounds annoyed. Nothing. I let him go. He made concessions for the company in previous negotiations. Why would you let an ally go like that? He's an old man, Harry. I wanted him to spend more time with his family. He looks down and sighs. God knows how long he's got left. You called him a midget. <laughs> That's right, he did. That's so blunt. What the fuck? Harry, he exclaims, indignant. I have little people in my organization. I would never call someone a midget. What is what is this? Honestly, I'm beginning to think you're a midget, Harry. Abruptly, he smiles and changes his tone. I'm only kidding, Harry. You're not a midget. No one is. We're pals. <sighs> Vanished? Harry, the woman left her casserole in the oven and couldn't make it here in time for the voting. Oh, did I leave my casserole on? Better go home and check. The election can wait. The man frowns disapprovingly. When she got back, the whole thing was over. It's such a scummy tactic to repeat to repeat the person's name condescendingly over and over like that, huh? It's such a, it's such a scummy personality trait. It really it, it's really used well here. Wait, there's there was no mention of a casserole from Joyce. Funny, Joyce didn't mention any casserole. <laughs> Harry, Harry, Harry! He flicks his fingers. Do not fixate on this little matter. Maybe it was a rabbit stew or a hair dryer or an iron. The point is, her heart wasn't in it. Mine was. This particular brand of humor he has, it makes for a fine distraction. If it's spilled blood you're looking for, then there certainly isn't any of it in his expression or demeanor now. Everett, Joyce seems to be he's lowballing her. Yes, yes, lowballing, of course. He's, he's suddenly very serious. This isn't a casino, Harry. Real people, real livelihoods are at stake here. But everything's a casino for those rich types. His expression makes it clear. This is childish and irresponsible behavior. Why haven't you let her in to see you? If she actually wants to see me, she will find a way. Any good negotiator would. And I just don't have anything to discuss with a bad negotiator. He doesn't want to see her. It's as simple as that. Okay, let's talk about something else. Of course, Harry, let me just assure you one more time. It's perfectly okay to share anything we discuss here with this Joyce. This is a complete transparent organization sure i have no interest in what she's doing but i have I, I myself have nothing to hide your business is your business and i respect your privacy just remember none of this he makes an, an all-encompassing gesture is a, a secret tell her about all of it my brother's picture my singing clock swordfish clock he looks around tell her how overweight i am and how i'm helping you find your lost gun tell her ever tell her about everything Everett doesn't mind it is rather interesting to tell people things about each other isn't it it was it was nice telling him about her right now 
What's in the container that's outside your office? My dear Harry, there are literally, literally millions of containers in this harbor. I doubt that. I couldn't possibly remember what's in all of them. There's something special about it. It was attached to the Kvalsen cane. Crane, sorry, Harry, you smooth talking son of a bitch. <laughs> he says in the fondest of smiles. Time is a precious resource, and I don't have enough of it to count containers with you. Smooth talking, maybe that's the way to go about opening the container. You should at least at least try convincing it. Ever, I'm going to leave now, but we might talk again later. Leave. Wait, he reaches into his drawer and pulls out a plastic card. You need this to get in and out through the gate. Um, thanks. I was wondering how I was supposed to get out. Great. Wouldn't want to get stuck in here. Here, you're one of us now. A real red and white union man. Take care, Harry. Nice finger guns. Yes. All right. Well, that was, um, interesting. Could you do a quick summary of the story until now? Oh, you. Oh, you. Oh, hey, mister. I need to be back to talk with old Leo here. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. It's like Lady Larice said when she opened a bathhouse in the basement of my apartment building. They can only get so far before they're aching to get back. And a lot of folks really did keep coming back. Leo, Leo, in the future. Oh, now, see, we learned it from, from uh, Everard. Um, I have some questions for you, if that's in too much trouble. Okay, I'm off. All right, there was nothing else. All right. Really, Kim, you don't want to talk? Huh. This seems like a weirdly put together place, isn't it? Rhetoric impossible. Persuade the door to open. All right. Do we do we have a, a any rhetoric increases? Ooh, we should probably get our conceptualization up as much as possible, right? That's minus rhetoric. No. All right. Let's try it. Been in the world for two days. What? Alright, 8%. Oh. Here we go. We're doing this one. I feel it. I feel it, chat. I feel it. I feel it. We're doing this one. It's going to succeed. I've never been more wrong. Never been more wrong. Why are you even trying to open a door with rhetoric? Because getting physical wasn't an option. Because that wasn't an option? Because what wasn't an option? The tenant looked startled. Using my body over my wits. Now is not the time to get phil philosophical detective. You can do it after hours. All right, we leveled up though, didn't we? No, we didn't. All right. What's with the, like the, the the tense heartbeat music here? What if I hit the button again? No screech of metal when you push the button this time. Only science. Silence. Mm, okay, button's broken. How the fuck does talking to the door make it open? Save scum? No save scum. No, we don't save scum here. Wait, was there snow on the ground when it was snowing before? Or is that does that change as it snows? If it does, that's a cool effect. This is the one thing I save scum in the entire game. Really? Do you guys really want me to save scum so we so we can talk it open? Do you guys really want to see that? The stream is almost at the end. Do you want that to be the finale, or do you want to come keep coming back and it's a mystery? Seems like it's overwhelmingly no, no save scumming, no save scumming. We'll come back with a uh, with um another attempt. Rhetoric, right? Revashal, but she, he said Revashal. Notice in case of strike, press button behind guard. Where are we? Sears Plexiglass has used 300 bits. That's how I'll smile when a yaya is unlocked. <laughs> 
Hey, keep on keeping on. There's no way. It's not happening, weebs. It's not happening. It's never happening. Thank you, King of Dunces, for the 14 month resub. Third time attempting to send this message. I'm excited to hear you are interested in game design. Would you be interested in some digital uh, teaching books I have for the Unity engine? Probably, but not right now. Um, uh, there are, are some game design books that I have. Uh, I've even read some of them, um, but uh, not right now, but thank you for the offer. Um, specifically with, with Unity, um, like the way I'm, I'm thinking it's going to go, uh, I'm not going to be the one that's going to be programming it, at least not for the most part, but we'll see how it goes. Did it bug out a couple times, King of Dunces, and you couldn't get your message through? Huh. Sorry about that. I mean, I, I'm sorry on behalf of Twitch. Sometimes it does bug out. It's weird. Uh, thank you to Jorben for the 5 and 3 sub. Glad you're playing this game. Best game I played last year. I keep forgetting it's 2020. Uh, is anyone? Is this anyone else's game of the year for 2019? Thank you, Jorben. Measurehead is a powerful man. Oh, look at all these people. Oh wow, quite a lot of people think this is their, their game of the year. Nice. Scab? This is a man with a jolly eyes tilting his head. You're hazy on the notion of a scab. Smells like politics. Though, maybe he's going to the philosophy of just a ton of time. Uh, what exactly is a scab? A kind of a worm, content with mere survival. They come, they want to do our job for shittier pay. Screwing over both themselves and us. Everybody loses. Hold on, where did they all come from? Beats me. Somewhere in the ground, I think. You don't seem to like them much. Gotta be bloody stupid or freaking evil to scab. Or I guess, scared maybe. But scared of what? Of who? He looks at the mask, squinting his eyes, as if trying to ascertain what they're scared Personally, of. Personally, I'd rather beg than scab. If the gentleman shouting on the street came begging, maybe they'd have gotten something. No, you try talking to them? Shake your head, it's better than begging, come on. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. He but these scabs really. ain't begging. They ain't holding on to their integrity. Alright, let's walk away. I wanna see where we are. I think I have a, I think I have an idea of where we are right now. We can get back to the uh to the hostel. It says G R I H. The Greater Revachal Industrial Harbor. Okay, so we never talked to this person. Um, the lorries probably store fuel here. Now they store booze. Damn! Look, at this idiot just talk, just standing next to money. Yeah, I know where we are. Okay. A foreign car kept in good condition. A stats Rajko, one of the finest. Zismic, okay, I don't know who drives these. Not many people outside of Grad. And Revishal West 2, it appears. Hey Kim, check this out. A Stats Rajko KK2. That's a classic model. Lieutenant replies with a nod. Never thought I'd see another one repainted after what happened last time. Hold on, maybe I can impress him. Do I know what happened last time? No, only that the motor carriage is typically baby blue. The colors of Zygmunt the Great, an ancient Zizmik, Ziz, Zamsk. I, I'm sorry, ruler. His banners were famously Zaffir and white, the colors of Stats Rajko. Let me guess what happened last time, Cam. Blue and white are the colors of Zismic. Someone painted it, got, got Zismic mad, and boom, murder happened. Yeah, sure. That's, well, yes, exactly it, more or less. Nice! Except there was a crowd of them. Tore him out of the vehicle and ran, ran him over with his own tires. They said it was an honor killing, Hassar style. The Zitzmik community protested the trial, flying the colors. He shakes his head. 5,000 came to protest. Correction, 4,395. The fourth largest public protest of a criminal trial in, Re in Revishal. Hate to correct you, Kim, but only 4,300. <laughs> no. Who are the Zitzmik community? Um, all right, can I come back to this thought? Because I, I kind of just want to explore right now. I didn't realize this was going to be so, so in-depth. People were paid to protect. Uh, Lieutenant shakes his head. Sorry, we're paid paid to protect. Well, let's leave it at that. He says the reflection in the car window. Four years for the murder in reunion. Lieutenant shrugs. The perps were remorseful. This their their sorry knocked eight off, eight years off the sentence. That's the system. Damn. Well, we're never going to prison. Sorry, cop. The prisons in the Greater Revachal Industri Industrial Harbor are already full. Prisons are expensive to maintain. The longer the sentence, the larger the cost. Kim, could our hanged man have been a dr the driver of this car? 
could it be another stats Rajko murder? He gives you a crooked smile. Honestly, that just doesn't seem like the type of vehicle our dead guy would drive, so my initial guess is that the two are not related. Interesting. Before we proceed, I've got an opinion on this kate this paint job. Yes, Sedecto, I think it looks better brown and black. They should have left the baby blue. You sure you're not Zipsk? Zip he shares a smile with you only for a second. Yes, you're sure you're not. Or if you are, it's only the Revacolian Rever way, 4 to 5% maximum. Our classic visual novels game, since all you do is basically, all you do, all you basically do is read. Um, uh, let's not get into that again. <laughs> uh, this this feels like a game enough to me. I think, maybe. Like I want to say yeah, but let's not get into it. Humanox covers the truck. Okay, so here we are. I wonder if there's something down in the in the southeast there. Okay, so we didn't talk to Jean-Luc, so the co corpse isn't down off the tree yet. There it is. All right. So we went in here, and we looped around the secret area, and we went down there. So we could have found another way in by talking to the people at the gate. All right, so we kind of snuck our way in. Interesting. All right, I wonder if that's how most people do it. I'm going to guess yes. Because you're led to look at that um, thing next to the uh, next to the body. There's so many people to talk to. Let's hand in our tear. Boys going to the machine. When you press the assassin jingle, you're a richer man now. Nice. Do, 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 do. Okay, so I feel like getting into a conversation with anyone right now is going to make the stream go over, and uh, now more than ever, it is important that we do not go over time. So I think we are you done. Uh, is there anything that anyone would like me to do real quick before we before the stream is over in the game, uh, while I see if there's any tallied ayaya uh, things to do? And then we'll continue tomorrow, and then um, after that will be next week. Talk to Measurehead? Measurehead. I think, is this guy Measurehead down here? I think it's gonna take too long to do that. Can we get past him? Okay, so I think this guy is, is um, damn, he has like groupies. Ooh, I miss most of the stream. Why is going over today bad in particular? No, it's just this this uh, era that we're in um, with with uh, getting the video done. I don't want to go over time. And these streams are exhausting. So, all right, let's see. What do we have? Uh, review requests queue. So we have uh, one Ayaya Monocoin fund from Firebug. We didn't do that. So let's do that market complete. And also Frogonox wants a dad joke book joke read aloud okay cool we'll do that right now hold on one second first of all let me take the the, the 20,000 from the ayaya fund do, 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 do. could you automate the ayaya fund um i mean theoretically i think maybe but um it's fine all right so we're going from eight sorry nine to eight there you go congrats weebs i can't believe you're actually trying Is this cruel? <laughs> I don't know if this is cruel or not. Uh, anyway, so here's a, a joke, dad joke book. All right, here we go. A group of chess enthusiasts, enthusiasts checked into a hotel and were standing in the lobby discussing their recent tournament victories. After about an hour, the manager came out of the office and asked them to disperse. But why, they asked. Because, he said, I can't stand chestnuts boasting in an open foyer. 
What do Michael Jordan and a turkey have in common? They're both known for stuffing. I don't get that one. Where do horses like to shop? Old Navy. Let's just, let's do two more because that wasn't all that great. Gordon was over was Gordon was twenty six over par by the eighth hole. He had landed a dozen balls in the water hazard and dug himself into a trench, fighting his way out of the rough. When his caddy coughed during a one put one foot putt, Gordon exploded. "You've got to be the worst caddy in the world!" he screamed. "I doubt it," replied the caddy. "That would be too much of a coincidence." What's green has four legs, and if it fell out of a tree, could kill you? A pool table. Wow. Wow. All right, that's it. So I'll see you guys tomorrow, and we'll continue Disco Elysium. Maybe we'll finally get the body down. Um, I feel like we made some progress today, but this is uh, this is slow going. Reading all, reading it out loud. But that's it. So, thank you again for, for the fan art. Q2, Matt Bake, and Merrick. Only 49,890 more times you have to change that number. Nice. Nice. Utter Sloth used 300 bits to say 1 bit equals 10 Ayaya points. I don't think it works that way. I don't think you get mana coins for, for, uh, for bits. Um, at least I hope not, because if you do, then I'm, I'm going to just obl obliterate the, the thing. I don't want people donating bits for AI points. I don't want to sell out like that. If I sell out, it'll be a completely a completely other way. <laughs> You'll know, don't worry. <laughs> Thank you for the bits, Utter Sloth. Anyway, see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one. Thank you for uh, hanging out with me for three hours. While I read you a story.